Oh, oh, sweet, sweet baby. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of The Wanger Show. Another one. <laughs> this is uh, episode 309 of the program. We're a three, sometimes two, sometimes one, sometimes one and a guest, sometimes one, two, and a guest, sometimes two guests. Hey, that's what I call a two-player swing. Oh. Sometimes those people come together, have a good old time talking about movies, pop culture, Things in the news, in the now, right. world news, indictments. Learn that word this weekend. And yeah. so <laughs> much more. And this week, uh-huh. on Here Said Podcast, The Wanger Show, we have Ken Napsock. What's up, Ken? Hey, you know, I heard Cody was on his way, then he heard I was on the show to talk politics, and he turned around and he's went out. home. He's out. I'm hoping. not actually sure. He was no, he's no. probably out, but he's, yeah. he's kind of doing more important things. He's got a lot on his plate that's uh, more than my Pacifico. Mm, I mean, shit, he's wishing he would. Eh, okay, yeah. all right, it's all good. Yes, I can confirm. No, Cody. That's totally fine. Okay, that's good. So it's all you. I'm it's trying to you, make sir. sure you got a good shot if you release some shorts and TikToks. Oh, okay. Can we do one on just on your socks, like right away, right well, off the bat? Yeah. How, how are we liking Ken socks? Do we like Ken socks? Last time I got a lot of... I don't want to say guff. I just got a lot of comments about, mm. uh, especially because you released that those uh, Dead Space things as TikToks mm-hmm. and Instagram Reels, right? And I, th- some on, or I think so. Some. I always fucking forget to do the Instagram yeah. Reels all, all the time. And uh, it looked as though a lot of people who aren't familiar with the show will be like, why are these two dudes in their socks? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a long-going thing it's where a long-going thing. like everyone who comes in the apartment thinks that uh, they have to take their shoes off. It's not entirely the case. But then I'm also just like, hey, feel, as long as your feet don't smell, Nah. More the merrier. Fresh take, socks. Take the socks off. Show them feet. Go on and get on wiki feet. I worked out and I showered and I came on over here. Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> there it is. We got a do you have an Amazon wish list? No, I'm not that sad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I I <laughs> I, I might I, be doing one again for my birthday, but I, oh, I did do one in twenty eighteen. Oh. But I'm with you. I think morally I don't love them, but I also yeah. people want to support us. I think we need to put a good stream deck. I want to. I want you to have a stream deck. Oh, see, I don't right know here. if I would actually. Would I use it like right here yeah, and be able yeah. to do things effectively? Yeah. Transition. I don't know how long, how much longer this podcast is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be but honest. You can use it for other things. Yeah, that's also true. I mean, I would probably put like, like gear for like shorts and stuff like that. I might. I might oh, I, I was, like that. Okay. I was talking to Cody. I might be buying a cam. I was actually talking to Remsen today. I might be buying a camera. I almost did it today. I'm just like doing a little Ooh. bit more research and like a what, like a black magic. Yeah, I might get another black mat. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's what we use for scare tag. That's what Remsen has. I yeah. really, really like that camera. Shoot. I like my camera. Shout out to Sony. I like the Sony cameras, but mm-hmm, uh, the mm-hmm. black magics are something else. So I need to get a new lens for my camera. Okay, I think you should get this. Mm. The camera. Yeah, I think you should give me the lens. Oh, okay. okay no I'm kidding. I, think- I have your lenses, by the way. But now, if I but oh. listen, if I have the Black Magic camera, I can actually use. Okay, those you lenses keep you now. keep those. You yeah, keep those. You yeah. keep those. I need I need to clear storage. I think you should get yourself the Black Magic camera. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You're making. You know, I know. I don't. I don't know your salary, but you're making okay money. Working mm. hard. I'm working hard. Uh, I'm I'm still doing doing uh, surveys for cash. Hey. So I'm not going to buy myself a Black Magic camera. Mm-hmm. But you can't because I think you'll do great things with it. I would hope so. It's also a motivator. Like, hey, I have this now. I have to use it. It's like why I still order large T-shirts oh, when I should be an I extra can't be, large. Oh, okay. I was like, I want to go back to a medium, but I just know I won't, I'll never go back. When I went to first got hired Collider, I lost a lot of weight, got in great shape, and I started going back to larges, mm-hmm. and I just I haven't coffee. left that. I don't know how you do coffee at this time of night. It's my third one today. I got a Starbucks earlier. Pacific, I was gonna like a whore. Uh, what's up, Big Lou's Clubhouse? What's up? Oh, Big Lou. Big, Big Lou. Big Lou in the house. What's Big up? Big Lou slid into my DMs and gave me his cell phone number the other day. Wow. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm Is okay with it. <laughs> you know, I, I love Big Lou. Okay, uh, good. Because uh, I had to hang some shelves the other day in mm. uh, our Call bathroom. Brett. <laughs> That's what he does. No. Oh, no. okay. Okay. I like to learn to do things myself. Ah, Okay. <laughs> Um, uh-huh. I'll end my <laughs> sentence there. Um, it almost got bad fast. Uh, um, I didn't intend it to be, but, <laughs> but I had yeah. some issues with it be- uh-huh. and, and Big Lou was like, look, that's, you know, Big Lou's clubhouse. This is the kind of stuff he does. Cook meat and hang shit. Okay. And, uh, I, I saw yeah. clubhouse and I initially thought yeah. like, yeah, that's like a nice steakhouse or something. Big Lou's one of my favorite. He's got, I think he's got a more successful YouTube channel than all of ours because uh-huh. he, he just builds things on and stuff. 
Oh, they, that's good shit. Like yeah. some of my favorite stuff on TikTok is just watching people mm-hmm. clean carpets. Oh yeah, that's so so relaxing. So relaxing. Yeah, um, you got some ASMR kink in you. You just don't admit it. Um, yeah. Anyways, a bit, a so he was like, he reached out. He was like, hey man, here's in case you need something. Oh, I'll take. Sweet. I'll guide you through over a video. Okay. You know. Hmm. So the Amazon wish, wish list is, is 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 I should try it. My yeah. birthday is this month. Maybe. Hey. Oh, I I gotta take you. We'll go to some Lancers. Um, Ooh, we got yeah, I, I put some. Stream, I, I put some a binaural microphone on it because I'm doing that ASMR. By the way, shout out to the Wanger fans. When I was here last two months, month, month and a half ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned my ASMR channel, Sports Card ASMR, for the first time publicly, mm. and like 20 of your fuckers subscribed. Ooh, hear that, you fuckers? Yeah, hear that shit, fuckers? Hell yeah, brother! Not gonna take my Trump. Yeah, uh-uh. that's right. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna Not if I my say future. something about it, we're gonna protest. <laughs> <laughs> Take back our nation. Uh, January 6th, part two, brother. March 21st, whatever it is, brother. Uh, Big Zoo, this is those carpet cleaning vids are highly satisfying. Uh, Lauren Rome is here. We got an old timer. Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Um, anyway, I don't know where we're going. I've, I've sidetracked your show already. No, that's totally fine. Yeah, the carpet cleanings are great. And then the uh, there's a guy that mows lawns, like, out of the oh, comfort really? of his own heart. Like, he his TikTok mm. videos are literally, he, he drives around and he sees mm. people's uh, lawns oh, and they're, really? they're they're a mess. And he just knocks on the door. He's like, "Hey, I saw that you're a piece of sh- lazy piece of shit. <laughs> so I want to just mow your lawn for you." And they're no like, charge. "Oh, great! No, no, just for the video." Oh, well, so he's, he he just, yeah, he films it all. And he probably so. gets millions of views. Like, yeah, and uh, there's that's the trade off. Yeah. yeah, and then he actually posts. He doesn't go up to him and be like, "You're a lazy piece of shit." But um, he uh, he actually has some videos where he's actually confronted by the neighbors that are upset by it. It's very interesting. Really? Yeah, I have to I have to find his name. But uh, Aunt Manny says the lawn mowing dude is great. I can't remember his name. And there Wait you go. Wait a minute. The- did, he, did he just have a clip where he's like buzzing, not lawn, and like trimming, edging? Like the in the, on the sidewalk? Yeah, and, and stuff? then a neighbor comes out yelling yeah. at him. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. That's the guy? Mm-hmm. That's the guy. Mm-hmm. I thought he just lived there and his neighbor was upset. No, but uh-uh. it's some random dude. Just some random mm-hmm. house that he's at. And okay. he just goes in there and cleans it up, makes it look, he does a before and after. It's great. Maybe that guy is like, no, you're going to cause my house to look bad and then my prices will go down. Mm. Well, I would love to do that, like how we did our Chet Barney sketch where we're yeah. reorganizing Blu-ray collections. We do that for TikTok. Just mm-hmm. go into people's, mm-hmm. just break into people's houses and then organize their Blu-ray collection. Treat Clean yourself. It up. Treat Manny yourself. Uh, there big, you go, Manny. There's the, there's a, go subscribe to Ken's uh, ASMR channel right oh, there. Oh, thanks, Send Manny. Send a link in there. Booyah. That's the best. Edgin, mm-hmm. Great Blink 182 song. Is um, it great? Yeah. Is it great? I don't know. I don't it's know. It's okay. I don't know. I have no I, comments you, on Blink. You haven't kept up on the Blink One Eighty Two. You I haven't had. Back. You haven't. You haven't ke- got me on your uh, your radio show where you talk about music and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, Are you no. Doing that anymore? Five, yeah, I, I am. Pop Rocket Radio still goes live every mm-hmm. Saturday. Night. I have a show in there uh, called the Slow Stuff as well. Mm-hmm. The show I invited you on was called Five Song Set. Oh yeah. yeah I yeah. still intend to do that. Mm-hmm. The problem is you actually have to do it. <laughs> oh. And I don't have time. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I would have made you done uh, five Avenged Sevenfold songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each song would be at least like eight minutes long. <laughs> eh, you know, we, yeah, I would have it'd been okay. It's just awkward. We are sitting there on like StreamYard staring at each other while you listen to music. Oh, you listen to the entire song? like all The only of- episode I've done is with Corey Morissette and John Mariano of Backtracks, the Van Halen mm. podcast and the Backtracks, the Aerosmith podcast. Yeah. Um, we did Aerosmith and... Mm. Aerosmith, Aerosmith songs are kind of long. Yeah, they can get that. But I like yeah. those guys. You know, hang out, listen to some music. It's mm-hmm. it's good. We'll do it one day. I do like talking music on this show. It's this one of my favorite. Cause I'll I'm, talk music. Not a lot. Of, I mean, I mean, two different. I mean, because you like you, well, you probably like everything. What does that mean? No, I'm just asking. Like, is that are you one of those guys that's just like, no. oh, I like everything? No, 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 I don't. I have very specific. Um, I just am on a kick. I, I, I defend people's right to like any kind of music and music so personal that it's just become like I get grumpy. Not a, like I like for. OK, here's what's on my mind. I'm a giant U2 fan. When I say mm-hmm. U2 saved my life, I meant I was suicidal in the early mm-hmm. 2000s. Mm-hmm. And U2's music and George Harrison's solo music was my saving grace. It, like I didn't jump because of it. And, and, wow. and, you, and, and it, it's there's a lot of factors, but that's I that the music found my soul. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean I need anyone to love everyone to love you. Yeah, they're kind of having this not comeback, but they're just kind of in the they're on that documentary I watched last night on on Disney Plus, mm-hmm. sort of Homecoming yeah. with Dave Letterman. It's amazing. I love it, but you don't have to like them. But I saw people online, some people I know in the Star Wars space, doing the whole. They're overrated. Mm-hmm. They sucked. Mm-hmm. They never were good. And it's like, 
you don't, that's, you're literally denying history mm-hmm. of a band that changed the landscape a few times. Yeah. If, yeah, you, yeah. You, if you don't remember Live Aid in 85, if you don't remember Joshua Tree, if you weren't there for Octone Baby and, and how they were everywhere, you're just denying history. You don't have to mm-hmm. like them. Yeah. So that's my thought on music. Okay. No, it is interesting because, yeah, people are very, people are very passionate about, I mean, because I mean, it's you, so personal. Yeah. Like, I would, I don't, you know, I don't know Avenged Sevenfold enough to say I don't mm-hmm. like them, right. but I know it's a harder style of music that I don't go to. Yeah, but that's the point. I want to sit down with you and say, "Hey, pick your five songs that mm-hmm. move you. Let's find out why you." Do. Yeah, and and because I grew up like this, I grew up in a town, and it's and it's not the town's fault, but I grew up with it's it's funny. It's a rural town. Country music very popular, but I grew mm-hmm. up not for my folks or anything, but I grew up being country sucks and rap is crap. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, those rhymes, yeah. Get it? Bars. Bars. That is so demi- dismissive of two different cultures and s- yeah. perspectives. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, you, you, little white kid in the suburbs, mm-hmm. rap, probably not my experience. Yeah, yeah. So to call it crap is to deny, deny the experience of those who are doing the music. And I, I just get grumpy about that. I'm guilty of that with, with country because I've, I've heard a lot of, like, trash what? country songs. But then also— Let's go to Nashville there, one time. I mean, I'm sure that there are some— Mm-hmm. Deep rooted cuts that are really, really good, and um, like you know, I I'm not gonna deny anybody that yeah. that loves that stuff. Um, I think yeah. I think all genres have their shitty side. Yeah, of like course. I love metal, but there is some shit metal out there, you know. I don't, and that's yeah. the case for for everything. I don't love hair metal. I don't love metal stuff. I don't like that late '80s stuff. Wasn't my favorite, but also like. I love, you know, Metallica in this general sense. I love Guns N' Roses in this general sense mm-hmm. because they were everywhere. They like everyone in my school had a jean jacket with a Metallica patch mm-hmm. on or something like that. That was and, like and straight up like my dad growing up just wearing probably like went thrash. to school with your dad. <laughs> you went to the all boy school? No. Yeah, there you no. go. <laughs> uh Dan H uh definitely watched the Disney Plus special. And it's also cuz Letterman hosts it and Letterman's 75. He's an old man. And now that's like when I was coming up and like Jack Benny was there. Mm-hmm. And it's like and I love Jack Benny, but yeah. like I think I think gener- younger generations do have a problem just going that Letterman guy's stupid. Yeah. You don't know how he changed no everything you watch now. Yeah, and they probably see like one clip of him from the from the past, and, and he's like, not perfect, and he's no, his nobody grumpy. Is. Like he gets yeah. everyone. Oh, did you see this horrible thing he did to Drew Barrymore in this interview or something like that? It's mm-hmm. like you you just you weren't there, man. Yeah, <laughs> there was recently too. That's just the in general, just growth in general. Because like yeah. I I feel like the older I get, the more I respect any kind of music, but also the decisions that the band makes. Because yes. for the longest time, like, there were, like, uh, specifically with Avenged Sevenfold, like, back in the day, like, their first two albums, they screamed, like, like metalcore, like, screaming, screaming, like, and it was constant. But then I hear them talk about their process, and they're mm-hmm. like, we never liked doing it. That was, like, our game. That was, like, the only thing we knew on how to do how to it. Do. And now, now they're at a, they, it's funny enough, they just came out with a new song last week, and they haven't come out with a song in, like, four or yeah. five years or something like that. Their longest break. And, of course, this song is, like, so... Di- D- yeah. uh, divisive divisive because because it's divergent because it's like it's divergent and it's yeah. insurgent or whatever it, the other names are but um <laughs> but but that's the thing is like and the same kind of thing people are just losing their mind you have some people saying it's like it's an amazing song some people are like oh i waited four years for this and it's just like it's it's amazing especially with our musical perform their artists to mm-hmm. the core unless you're one of those bands that you know can just I don't know not not evolve and you're you're selling out or whatever and mm. even the term selling out is something I fight against too. Yeah. But like okay for like I I have recently become obsessed with Paramore not because mm. I'm an emo kid from the mid 2000s but obsessed with Haley Williams. I mean, she's kind of I, mean, I kind of got a crush on Haley Williams, but smoke show. watching her dance. Uh, I'm, she's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but her growth as an artist, the band's mm-hmm. growth. Yeah, um, that's the same it's kind of fascinating. Thing. Yeah, because they they were part of that genre in that era that was yeah. super fun that paramore album i think it was riot like right the, yeah with um crush 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 and i don't even yeah. know if that was i think that was on the album and then of course and then misery, the business. misery business and, which she you know eventually she, would later I, deny i didn't or, know or, like she self-canceled that song self-canceled it, yeah. for so long yeah, and yeah. i did that song in karaoke and like no one told me <laughs> i was screaming whore at the top of my lungs <laughs> just because it was yeah. fun but i know they recently came back and started playing yeah it started because so, yeah. yeah and she lets the audience sing some but it's fascinating i just and it's just, I just love that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I've become more and more obsessed with David Bowie, more and more obsessed with Lady Gaga because these are mm-hmm. artists who are like, yeah, I'm going to do something different. And, and fans don't fly. It's because of what we do. Oh, God, this yeah. mic just almost went in my mouth. Hey. Um, <laughs> you know, like, 
I do. I, I'm the. I, I, you can't contain me to one thing. I, I, I wish yeah. I could just do a YouTube channel every day. Mm-hmm. That's like Batman sucks. I wish I could do that. Mm-hmm. I w- I'd wake up empty every day. <laughs> Not that the people that do that. <laughs> yeah, or entirely like that. Yeah, yeah. That's but like, sure. I want to do Fortnite clips. I want to do comedy clips. I want to mm-hmm. do serious conversations. I want to do it all. And it was either the audience follows you or they don't. Yeah. That's Anyways, true. Uh, I've come to appreciate rap and country. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I mean, I had a. A family member talk talk to me about um, like their their son wanting to listen to some like rap and hip hop mm-hmm. and stuff, and they were kind of worried about like um, like getting introduced to like you know with a lot of bad words and all yeah, that right. stuff. And I think they specifically mentioned Kendrick Lamar, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh no, he's one of the good ones. Like he <laughs> he actually talks about really important issues, and yeah, he's got some cursing here and there. There a lot of them are going to have cursing, but like at the core of what this, of the stuff that he's trying to tell is is good. Like he's gonna yeah. get, he's gonna if he if that kid grows up and listens to the lyrics and actually yeah. pays attention to it, then they're gonna come away with something valuable and you know yeah. not just like mumble like the mumble rap. But even though yeah. like I'm sure there's a lot out there that is good from that stuff, but yeah, you know it's not just noise. You know, it's not just noise. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it, it, and we got a great super chat here with a good comment. Thank about. you, Wiley. Yeah, Wiley Todd. There, I think he says uh, I think that music is the best way people relate to entertainment emotionally because music is the core of who you are as a person. That's why music, uh, sup and music's and TV. TV's is very uh, underrated um, job and interest. Inter- oh, music supervisor. Mm-hmm. I love music talk. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. I looked at trying to become a music supervisor because I think if you could be, mm. be good at it, mm. you need to know. You need like, to like. It's one of the things of like. Oh, you know, you know, you know, how you start to become one. Mm-hmm. You be one. Oh. Okay. And so, do yeah, you have yeah. ten years of experience? Then you can start. <laughs> Got it. It's one of those like catch twenty two. Ah. So I'm gonna have to do some music for Wanger videos. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do. Go it. for it. Yeah. Um, you can pay the rights. Anyways, yeah. But yeah, no music. Music is so personal. So of course, but that's why yeah. you're gonna have strong opinions about it. But then, to, then to just be like, you know, you two sucks. For you, but not yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. So don't say that to How me. How many people were saying Metallica sucked when Saint Anger came out? Or when they cut their I was or cut their hair. I when mean, I was a DJ, I was yeah. a DJ for ninety five to ninety eight. They cut their hair it's for the it was black like, album, right? Pe- yeah, people were like burning their CDs in the street almost. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So they changed. Yeah, they grew. They evolved as artists. Uh, the biggest thing was uh, uh, some kind of monster when they when mm. they released that. Everyone was like, "Oh, they're crying." Oh. See, look at that. Wiley Todd's going to school for music supervising. I should have done should've that. Done that. Yeah, it's not too late. Can you, can you take courses, Wiley Todd? I'm sure you can. It's like yeah. some remote. Adult night school courses. What do they teach, Wiley? They just teach like the the first two Guardians movies, and that's it. <laughs> just like this is no, how you, this is what, how you fucking do it, Wiley Todd. Who? It's Ricky Rackman's sister was one of the more successful music supervisors of all time. Mm. Ricky Rackman from MTV. He mm-hmm. was in the November Rain video. Of course, mm-hmm. you remember that Guns yeah. and Roses. Mm-hmm. Guns and Roses. Uh, his sister was one of the that uh, Chinese Democracy album. Yeah, I think it finally came out. <laughs> Berkeley, Co- oh Berkeley College Music, Dang. Berkeley College Music. You ever hear like the famous Berkeley Kids Choir cover of Beach Boys? Mm-mm. God no. only knows that one. Mm-mm. That was horrible. Uh, maybe if you would have sang it right, yeah, yeah. Maybe Ben Semple did a cover of not Beach Boys, but God Brian, only knows. Brian Wilson. They yeah. did. Um, oh, is it Brian Wilson? Uh huh. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. You might be surprised. I want to attend. Can I Berkeley uh, Berkeley College Music? Can do they have adult night classes? <laughs> Remote. College, they just go to. <laughs> Maybe there's not an up. age range. Berkeley is a great school. Ellis had that bit, the 98 year old woman who went to college yeah, and yeah. graduated. Uh, where, what's, um, what's that Ellis guy doing? I haven't seen him in about two weeks. Ah, that jerk. Um, is it Wish You Were Here? Is that a. Where? Or As Tears Go By, maybe? God Only Knows? I don't know. Hold on. One of these, oh, one of those is a Rolling Stones song. Yeah, As Tears Go By, it's Stones, right? Wish You Were Here, maybe. Or God That's Only Knows. That's Pink Floyd. Okay, then God Only Knows? God Only Knows. That's uh, Brian Wilson? Or yeah, the- Beach Boys, but Brian, Beach Brian Wilson, yeah. God Only Knows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See? Not all screen. Not all. Rah, 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 rah. <sighs> Berkeley is an online certificate for music supervisor. Oh, I'll have to look into this. There you go. Boom. Look at it. Because I'd be... I, Graduate I, in like two weeks. Yeah, I think because people people listen to my pop rock and radio show and they're mm-hmm. like, this was a really good time. I'm like, yeah, I know how to pick out fucking songs, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. And people generally, like when me, Cody, and Brian would talk about music, I think it's maybe it's just because maybe it's like the demo that listens to the show. Mm-hmm. They are they were like, oh, this, this. I can't believe they talked about this. And, yeah. and the three of us, like we all like around the same stuff, but mm. there's still a lot more range. Like I think they, those two listen to hip hop a lot more than, than I did. And so Tracks you know, Cody. Yeah, I mean, Co- Cody likes his hip hop. Yeah, and he and his yeah. Cardi B. Cardi B. Mm-hmm. 
I love that. Yeah. This is great. We're we're talking we're about going a lot into of it, man. Doing a lot of things. Doing a lot of things. So we're easing you into before we we talk about the big stuff. We got to, and I just anytime the big we, tea. Anytime any chance we we have uh, to talk you, music. Yeah, you don't want to get me started on on uh, music. I was making sure Mark Ellis didn't text me. Um, <laughs> he overheard. You. He's yeah, like, yeah. "Fuck you." Well, say? sometimes Ellis will see. Like he'll see. He'll. Here's the horrible thing about Ellis. He's really good at supporting people. And so oh, he'll yeah. just, he'll, oh, it's Ken's fucking, on wangers. I'll put fucking, on the wangers while I'm watching basketball. What a monster. And then I'll, an I'll monster. give them a super chat or something like that. Yeah. And you, a lot of times you just don't know he's there. And they'll mm-hmm. be like, hey, I was listening to your show the other day. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, that's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> why? What, why what were you doing you, that? Were you so bored? Why, why were you listening to what I had to say? You could have just yeah. asked me. I would have texted I'll you. I'll put on wangers. A lot of Monday nights I'm on my couch doing work around this time. Mm-hmm. So I'll put on wangers. Oh, why? I'll just, I'll just try to be an asshole in the comments. Just put something on Spotify. It's probably more entertaining. Put on Joe Rogan. My music. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You hear about Joe Rogan's anti woke comedy club? Uh, Ooh, the mothership of comedy. The mothership. Yeah. Dude, Roseanne Barr. Oh, fucking let's I go. Saw some clips of that. My pronouns are kiss my ass. Yeah, she was one another one of those that did the, the my pronouns are yeah. blank, blank, blank. So, so great. I don't get how they think that's so funny. I don't know, just because, Their like... Their minds have become tweaked. The I, libs are going to get upset. It's like, no, it's not funny. It's just a, such a weird... T- yeah, it, it's 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 just comics are always the rebels on the outside poking at authority, and and, 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 and they view that kind of stuff as authority, and, and uh, you know... It's the same thing with them. It's know, the same thing that, like, Fox News will just put woke on everything, and they don't... Un- like, did you see that story of the of that, yes, that woman? Yes, I did, and... Two weeks ago on the blathering, or no, last week on the blathering, I did. I had my frustration with the, the anti woke folks, and, and 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 I got into what the definition might mean. Mm-hmm. Again, it's complicated. It, it, no, it's actually it's not complicated. Here's where I went with it. Mm-hmm. I first heard it as a term for, um, and I, there's a long history of it, but like it's 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 a term like the black community would use to each like stay woke, yeah. stay awake. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things watch each other, stay like. Yeah. And I remember the first time I heard it on Twitter, I went. That, that that is not for me. Meaning, I need to pay attention to what's going on. But that's not a term that probably yeah. applies to Burbank, Ken. <laughs> and and yeah. that was a long time ago. And mm-hmm. I I hold to that. Yeah. And and then to see because then and words take on new meanings. Mm-hmm. We've talked about that even here on this show. But mm-hmm. yeah, the, that that all that stuff like that. And that's what I said on my podcast. It'll say now when someone does that to me, I get a lot. Oh, you're a comic, but you hate all that uh, woke stuff. No, but what does that mean to you? Yeah, you just don't. You, are you just mad because you can't say the n word anymore? Like, yeah, I don't know. What does it like, mean? What does it mean to you? Because you can't be uh, homophobic, yeah. or, or anti-Semitic. Yeah, you know, we, we're in a new age of, of yeah. understanding people's stories. Yeah, why aren't you listening? Why yeah. do you have a problem with me pointing out? That you need maybe, maybe need to listen to other people's stories. Yeah, I think I listen to other people's stories, and then like, yeah, like times have changed. You, 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 you're you're living. You're like the the one who. Uh, like peaked in high school, and you want to stay there the whole time, and yes. it's just like no, that was a different growth. time, man. You have to like grow up, and there's yeah. anything can be funny, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your way of approaching it, yeah, it, 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 to make that funny. There's and I'm just, not a comic, so I don't. No, what, no, what but I, I no, I get I I I because I like a, you know, I I don't mind being a little boundary pushing or let's just uh, tell it like it is. I get it. I yeah. get where it comes from. Yeah, I know. I I'm all but, for that too, yeah. but. There's still like a certain level of like okay, yeah. but like how far do you want to take it? There's there's yes because what what it is they're they're just jokes. I'm just telling jokes is is a you it's an excuse to mm-hmm. separate yourself from any potential harm you cause to other people, and yeah. that's the problem I have with it. And and it's the, not just jokes. The, the, well, the the other big problem that I have with it too mm-hmm. is when they call that out when yeah. they're like, oh. Are you triggered? It's like, oh yeah. It's why like, are you breaking the fourth wall? Just fucking yeah. Just if you're gonna tell the joke, own it and then move on. What am I gonna get canceled? Just yeah. like it's uh, yeah. No, and, and the, the tragic thing is, there's a lot of talented, talented, talented folks like R- Roseanne Barr. You cannot take away what she did for comedy. She's one of the most influential comics mm-hmm. and, and, and groundbreaking comics. Ellis and I had a conversation about this. I don't want to put words into Ellis's mouth, but like he loved his la- her last special. No, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but it's like. So it's like you don't ha- you don't have to go this way. Yeah. But they th- but the thought is oh well, we're now I'm breaking barriers now we're gonna break through this bullshit. It's mm. like what's the bullshit? Yeah. That your other people's struggles. Yeah. I mean even her like quote unquote cancellation know. like I know she was like hopped up on a lot a lot of drugs and all this stuff yeah, like yeah, 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 and yeah. like you can like bounce back from that like you can like own it and be like yeah I fucked up 
I'm an idiot. Yeah. I, I ruined something really good. Almost ruined something good for a lot of other people, too. And then you can have your own little comeback and, you know, just own up to it. But instead, if you're just going to buy in, buy into it, then... <laughs> Sorry. You know. Aaron Hatcher says, the saying woke was even used by Eugene Debs. That is a callback to the last time I was on your show where I had just finished reading that book about the 1912 election where Eugene uh. Debs, the a socialist candidate for four presidential elections, mm. who okay. actually his fourth and final time he ran from from prison um, because he dared to oppose a war. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, that's Stay woke. Aaron, that's, yeah, and, and the history goes back. Yeah, mm. yeah that's fantastic. Aaron, yeah. I, I appreciate that reference. Oh, that's a callback right there. Callback. Damn. Not over my, we talked about yeah, that, yeah. Like, okay. but 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 also that you know I may, I may have gone this direction before too with you, but the, the, like you look at the history of comedy, mm -hmm. going back to we're not talking 1880, we're going we're to going to like 1950. Mm -hmm. There was comics going what? Now you're saying I can't do blackface anymore? Mm -hmm. Literally in papers, literally in interviews. Yeah. This club mm -hmm. won't let me do blackface anymore. Comedy's dead. Like yeah. that's been one of the comedy is dead has been one of the oldest phrases in yeah. comedy. Well, Elon Musk said he. Oh, comedy comedy's is, dead. is dead. That's a so funny guy. He's got to be right. Oh, he's yeah. there's somebody that knows funny. It's it's him. Get it? I'm coming in with a sink. It's great. It's great stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and even like, I guess what also doesn't help is when people try to try to. Not, I don't want to say cancel because I fucking hate using that word. But like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like I saw something recently. Like every couple of years, Ben Ben Stiller has to come out and be like. <laughs> like Tropic Thunder, like people are trying to keep trying to bring Tropic Thunder out, and it's like you're you're missing the point of that movie. Like, yes, that's the whole point of that movie is calling yes. that shit out. Yes, and I think that's where maybe a lot of comic brains start to go. Like, hey, 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 you can't, yeah. you know, context and nuance and all those kind of things, and those are even words. Nuance is a word I try not to use anymore because it has, mm. it's it's a trigger for words people. Words have lost words. all meaning. But yes, yeah. context, time, growth. Um, you know, it, I, I've said before, there's things I've I said on stage. 15 years ago, I wouldn't say because I didn't realize, you know, the harm I was going or, or what yeah. I, I had the, I'm just, I'm just pointing out differences. Yeah. That, Men it, like this, women like this. And at least you're improving that. Like if you would be stuck in that way, yes. then yeah, that's, that's the problem. You'd be and the also, blackface comic. Yeah. And also at the time, nobody was saying, Hey, don't do that. Yes. Everybody was accepting of the things that were being said at the, that time. The edgelord vibe was strong in comedy in the mid 2000s. Mm -hmm. And you were almost encouraged to see how far you could take it. Yeah. And it's all fun and games till someone gets hurt, or it's all fun and games yeah. till we start to hear the effects. If you go back, I, I saw someone put that up. Maybe uh, tell me, I, I know I'm a crazy uncle that tells the same stories 15 times here. But like, you know, someone saying, look, it's hard to go back and watch some of the comedies, even up to the mid 2000s. Oh, yeah. When my entire existence is a punchline. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they're still like, hey, I like the movie, I get it. And, and they're not accusing the actors, the writers. It's just. When you look back at society through that, you start to see once yeah. once you get woke, mm -hmm. you start to see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're, you if didn't you're, used to, if you're watching like those early two thousand movies and you don't have a visceral reaction to someone calling another person like <laughs> yeah. a homophobic <laughs> slur, <laughs> yeah, then maybe that's an issue. Maybe you should yeah. like look in the mirror if, and be if, like, if, hey, <laughs> you know, what? How come I still think this is funny? If you don't watch any comedy from like two thousand nine prior, you can go. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll occasionally go back. I'll occasionally go back and watch these movies. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. But a lot of them are still funny. And this and of that. course, yeah. 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 It, it, that's the thing. That's yeah. The thing. Yeah. So to your point of like, like Tropic Thunder, it, it's almost hilarious. Wherever years, years so, mm -hmm. some 18 year old with a TikTok account see it for goes, the first did time. Did you see this? Yeah. Can you believe they did this? And we're all like, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we we got it. Yeah. We all understood it and won an Oscar. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. it was nominated for no, an Oscar. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, we got it. We got um, it. We got it. Um, yeah, I, I recently saw something too, like kind of similar mm. to that. There's this YouTuber, his name is uh, iDubs, um, and he used to make these these content videos where he would mm -hmm. essentially like make fun of people, but he was making fun of people that kind of deserved it, people that were sort of toxic, like in the like YouTube space. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a list. Does he need it? I, he probably would have. Okay. He probably would have done good with it. But uh -huh. like uh, the series was called like Content Cop. And he would take a look at someone's content and kind of rip it apart and kind of determine why this person's like, oh, this person's kind of a meme or a joke or whatever it is. Interesting. And he used to use all the slurs. He used to use all of them, like in context of oh, comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so recently, um, he's changed like drastically over the years. Mm -hmm. He's actually like putting on like YouTube boxing events and whatnot. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But okay. like they're actually legit. Like they're actually taking the boxing seriously. They're not doing it just right, right. for the views or shit talking. Right, and, right. and all the proceeds go to charity. So it's actually oh, yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
He came on to, um, I guess people don't like iDubs anymore, or maybe they never did. But um, but he recently, and maybe you guys won't like my opinion on this, but he was on, you know, Anthony Padilla. He used to be part of the, uh, uh, the Smosh used, guys. used to see him in the hallways all the time. That's right. Yeah. It was like the same, that's right. It's the same thing. Um, well, he, he does like an interview series, and he recently had, oh, it's okay, he recently had iDubs um, on the show, and iDubs had said, uh, like, what what helped me really change is when I would meet my fans and they would be like kind of despicable people. Like they would repeat a lot of these things and I didn't like that. It it, it like really opened his eyes. And then people I think got upset with him like, Oh really? You realize that your fans were shitty? But it's like, but he's, he's choosing to grow. He's choosing to move on and be like, I don't want to do this anymore. And so there's growth in there. You can, Yeah. yeah, he said some pretty shitty and terrible things, but at least he's like trying. I'll give him that. You know, yeah, I don't know and the whole it, story. And, and, so it, I don't and know. it's also he's also not like you know like a lot of other people that do terrible things. Like yeah. Much ter- much worse things and saying things and words can be very impactful and harmful, yeah. Kanye. But um, you know, at least he's choosing to to move on and try to better himself. You yeah, know? yeah, so. yeah. No, look, there's a there's a. I, I love Mark Marin. His last special, uh, the one that just came out, HBO Max. Oh, that was yeah. gr- great, and yeah. I made made me cry. Like, and, and you know, I, I have to know. finish it. I, yeah. I got, I'm like, I think I got like 30 minutes in. I was like, yeah, okay. Well, I need to keep going with it. But also, I remember you telling me about yeah. some of the stuff in it. But yeah. also, I think we saw him do a lot of the stuff at the store. Is have you heard all? The, you know? I, I don't think I was there for that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but, no, I mean, all through the last year or two, I've seen it. Oh, okay. Okay. But he on his on his podcast about two. Years, I don't know because I, I don't listen to podcasts anymore, mm. if ever. But he he went into some of the stuff he did. And you, Mark has always been someone you look at as a left progressive mm-hmm. comic, and and he had to go. Oh, like here's the stuff I did and say, and here's why, and here's why I didn't know it was bad, and here's mm-hmm. why I don't want to do that anymore. And it was yeah. it was one of my favorite conversations. On it actually is the episode that introduced me to Cliff Nesterhoff and his mm. book, The Comedians, who tracks that. He is, his his specialty as a historian is comedy mm-hmm. and. Going back 150 years of comics going, well, now I can't say beep anymore. And it's, and yeah. that was on the same, um, same, same episode. And it's mm. fascinating. It's a great look at back at someone going, and he, and he goes, hey, here, here's, here's my bit. Yeah. And I just, it's not just, oh, I guess I can't say it anymore. Yeah. Cause we have yeah. friends like that. They'll oh, say something sure. and they'll yeah. be like, oh, I'm sorry. I meant sex worker. Mm. And you're just like, you're you're mocking the change at that point. Yeah, you're yeah. not trying to change. You're just trying to be like, oh, I can't get away with it anymore. Yeah, I, drives drives me fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think you just you just you have to be willing to to grow and adapt. Because your fans probably hate when I come on. No, I don't think so. They they don't. It seems like they don't like that I brought up I dubs. I, I yeah. But. I, I think. Uh, Senior. You like his stuff. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> senior, um, senior Film doesn't like it when I come on. Oh, Senior Film just sent in a super chat. Thank you. Or a stream lab. Thank you, Senior Film. I appreciate it. Oh, so where did I, you get I, I think uh, it po- I, saw it, I saw it pop up on the thing. Oh, okay. I, you know Nilo, Senior Film? He's, he yeah. sends like $5 like every single show. I, he would send it to a lot of stuff I would do. I just, I owe that no man No comment. So oh, no. Yeah, just, just like, like, here it is. Buy yourself a sandwich. Lovely person. Lovely person. I owe that man so many drinks. Um, mm-hmm. let's see. Harley. Harley says people say it was fine back then, but remember the early two thousands and remember all the jokes. I remember straight folks laughing yeah. and us not saying anything out of fear. That's mm, that's that, yeah, that out of fear is is yeah, that's very true. But and and that's and this that's a I love that comment uh, because that's the point of it. Mm-hmm. So I Forty Year Old Virgin is one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. I love I love everyone involved, and you got that. There's a lot of stuff in there. Maybe mm-hmm. even the the premise or everything. But there's that one scene. Paul mm-hmm. Rudd and Seth Rogen doing mm-hmm. the, doing the oh, the, the yeah, stuff, yeah. and and it's like I laugh every time. Uh, no. you know, and, 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 but but again, you have to do it in the theater in 05, I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. And you can, but but also, the intent behind that, I agree with that. Isn't isn't them trying to punch down or be offensive? It's yeah. they're literally riffing and improving, you right. know. And, but, and maybe there is some subtext behind that. Maybe you but, know, but, but but to that comment is we're dying laughing. And you're not you're not paying attention two rows down to the person's like, oh, that's my existence, and I guess it's a joke to everyone, and I guess I just have to accept it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and that's my thing of when you don't hear about other people's perspectives now more than ever. Sometimes for worse, yeah. everyone has a voice, but everyone has a yeah. story to tell. Yeah. And I think to Harley's point, that's 
That's the thing. What? Mm-hmm. Everyone's laughing, but you're not. It's yeah. To this same friend, mm-hmm. I'm the life of the party. And one time I said, I looked at him and I went, "Have you asked everyone at the party?" <laughs> yeah. And he went, "Oh, I'm, uh, I guess you're right. Like yeah. now you haven't. Mm-mm. You haven't. I mean, look, I have uh, friends and maybe even family members that still once in a while use some specific slurs. I'm like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. God. And then look, and I, 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 like a couple family members, like, oh, were you woke now? I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other room because there's just no, there's just no point. I don't want to punch an uncle. No, no, and (laughs) it's just like, oh fuck you, Cody. (laughs) Oh, Cody says I have those same socks, Ken. Uh, 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 Target, twelve, twelve socks in a bag. If if Cody was here, I would have put his fucking head right on your sock. I would have put it right there, right there on the on on the corner. Oh, that would have been perfect. (laughs) <laughs> Nick's comment. Nick, yeah. Hi, hey, Cody, Cody. Thoughts on how woke stand-up comedy has become. Yeah, again, this is what Cody's like. Ah, Ken's here. He used to be so much fun. We would make fun of Scientology <laughs> on the schmoes. Uh, which, by the way, I, still I think, think you can. I, I still, still think, think you can. Yeah, that's uh, that. That one's f- safe. Uh, yeah, I would say. I don't want to offend anybody. But almost yeah. all religions, I think, you can kind of make fun of. You could almost question the capital C church. I still okay. I'll take it. I'll take I still that. I'm, yeah. I'm a fan of God and, and mm-hmm. the baby Jesus. I still yeah. like it, but it, it's not the Jedi. It's the Jedi Order. That's the problem. Mm, Big Lou. Big Lou's a bigger dude. He says that's like me as a fat guy watching Shallow Hell when it came out. Yeah, everyone laughing at me. Mm-hmm. But the, the movie has a, a nice message in the end. I, 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 it's I'm been sure, a minute yeah, since yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. it, but well, the, yeah, the, maybe the whole, I, I never saw. The, it. I, it's been a minute since I've seen it. The whole premise alone, you know, and um, oh, okay. Can we have an update? Yeah, Aaron. I watch Bo of the Fifth Column every day. Oh, okay. Aaron, Aaron suggested it last time. And I went home and, and he messaged me. Uh-huh. And I said, I'm going to check it out. Aaron, I literally watch Bo of the Fifth Column every single day. I start my day wow. with a cup of coffee and Bo of the Fifth Column. Wow. Great YouTube Shit. channel. There you go. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. And he's great. Mm-hmm. I, Because I, I was like, you know, you never know. And I went straight for, he had did four years ago, gun control. Mm-hmm. For like three videos. Oh, he's the guy you sent me, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And he looks yeah. like he looks like he was in the front lines of January six, and not in the good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, so I went. I'm going straight to the biggest one. I went to the gun control videos, and I loved it. Yeah, I think th- is that yeah. the one you sent me? Or? I probably did. Probably you sent me. One I sent you. Yeah. Uh, I sent you a lot of things. I probably yeah. shouldn't have. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's okay. I Some mean, of them are home movies, but uh, no, it's it's the trans community. That's the that's the dangerous one. Oh yeah, that's groomers. dangerous. Groomers and indoctrination. Mm-hmm. I did see a TikTok today. I've seen uh, some Proud Boys got their asses kicked trying to I saw that trying to uh, break up some kind of uh, a, a drag, a drag show. show. Yeah, yeah. and so they got you know, fucked up. Those I mean, hey, killer drag queens just going around shooting people. I up, don't hey, indoctrinating dude, youth. It don't. I there was that clip of uh, John Stewart's show. Yeah, yeah. Um, the problem talking about with John the, Stewart. Like, yeah, the, I watch that every and, day too. And talking about like gun control and that mm-hmm. one guy just like mm-hmm. not being able to respond to it oh, or yeah, just deflecting the, the question. It's just like local politician. I, I hate I fucking hate it. It's the it's the side of politics that I hate that that uh, that speak on behalf of these things as if it's truth and as if it's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's the American way right. like it's the it's the right thing to do. Mm. But in, at the end, they, they just want your fucking money. They want your <laughs> yes, fucking you money. Did. It's so disgusting. Well, it's like yeah, look at Kari Lake. Uh, they they rigged it. Oh, if you give me two thousand dollars, we can help fight the rigging of the yeah. election. It's like what I happens if you what, lose yeah. when we win the yeah. elections? Are yeah. you crazy? Oh, it's 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 you it's the simplest psycho. way to throw back it up. Got it. Yeah, got it. The election was rigged. Mm-hmm. Margarine, margarine, Taylor, Taylor Green, Maggie, one. Maggie, Marge Green. Got it. She Woo. won. But but that's my point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know, like yeah, yeah. so 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 Kari Lake lost in Arizona. What about the other Republicans in the same election that won? Was that what? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's they, only, got, no, they yeah. got no answer. It's only rigged when they lose. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 the answer is such a simple response. Lock them up. This is why Cody doesn't come. Lock them up. Cody's got some thoughts, man. Cody, I'm gonna get him out. I'm gonna get on this show again when Cody's here. I'm gonna pull pull these thoughts out of Cody. Yeah. Someone was asking earlier. Bring I think it might have been Harley. If if Trump has ever been in a thumbnail for us, and I don't I don't think proper we yeah when when uh the 2020 election was going on we just did a, a separate like q a stream and i think we were streaming during like when the polls were going oh, off and yeah. whatnot and we put uh sleepy joe and trumper on on yes, the thumbnail that's right, that's right, so that that's wasn't right. technically an uh, official wanger show episode this might uh, be the first one um i i, I had goaded you into doing it oh i would like i because i was texting ken last night and i was also trying to figure out like what to title this episode, I didn't yeah. really know what was popping off this weekend. 
And then you you said the countdown to Trump's indictment, and I was like, that's it. That's it. it. I I bet, what are we, how long are we into the show? An hour? What are we? 40 minutes in? Okay. I bet there's someone going, when are they going to start talking about it? Yeah. Yeah. I came in for that. Here it is. You want to talk about it? The first, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jake Jake Baldino. Jake. Jake Baldino. Just go for it. Trump in every thumbnail now. Now I'm going to fucking sneak him in. Yeah. I'm going to put him in little corners. I'll turn the opacity down a little bit. Just like, (laughs) as long as it's a a whole, because the photo that we picked for him, it's just like one of my favorite. His yeah. hair is toupee or whatever the fuck, hard. just like going up. I he's got so many great memeable photos of him. Yeah, oh, it's so good. I still the one in the tennis gear is oh with his fat is, ass. Is one of the all time, yeah, the all, all favorite ones. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I love gamer ranks too. I oh, Jake, yeah. I was just watching your uh, Resident Evil Four video and it got me even more stoked. There's I go. I still play Red Dead Redemption Two. Um. And I'll go watch some of their videos pop up every now and then. Oh yeah, if there's an older if there's an older game that I I missed and never got yeah. to it, I'll look to see if Game Ranks has a video on it and I'll watch it. And then yeah. they do such like when they do the like things you didn't know. I'm like, I didn't know that. There's, there's about it's so helpful. You know, if ten, there's like eight. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wonder exactly. if uh, I wonder if Jake's hiring. Um. Anyways, um, <laughs> I lost a job to AI last week, a writing job. It's come to that now. Um. John Mariano's here. Johnny M. from Long Island. I would have hanged this thumbnail off of my wall. Well done. Ah, call Brett. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> call Brett. Call Brett. Go hang it. Uh, yeah, so here's here's what you got to know. First thing. We're talking with Trump. We're talking. Keep, keep yeah. in mind. Mm-hmm. The arrest, the indictment arrest is coming from him right now. Yeah. So everyone's expecting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, is suddenly we're going to get a, a, a mug shot. Mm-hmm. I highly doubt it. No, I would love it. They're not going to put him in handcuffs. They're not going to do any of that. No. Yeah, uh, he's saying it. He's ha- saying it probably to stir up his fan. He's trying to stir up his fan base. Yeah, obviously the stuff he's posting on Truth Social. Mm-hmm. I still would want it. Whether or not he would get convicted or anything, I don't care. I was looking up on the specific one of why it was. It's the Stormy Daniels related, but it's more to the mm-hmm. paying Michael uh, Michael Cohen who got Cohen, yeah. in t- 2018 uh, convicted of the fraud stuff mm-hmm. and, and funneling the payment to her through legal fees for Michael Cohen. So it's all tied to that. Yeah, whether. It's a tiny knows? little thing, but yeah, it's Capone tax evasion type of stuff. Because you get him get get him for one thing, and then maybe. But it's the spirit of it. If he yeah. is indicted oh, yeah. anytime from yeah. tomorrow or mm-hmm. end of my life, it's the that's spirit. History. Of it. That's history right there. And that's it's probably history. more meaningful than than an actual arrest. The, I think the only president or former president to be arrested, other than Ulysses S. Grant, got pulled over for speed violations on his horse and buggy. True story. That's great. On as his horse a sitting buggy, as a sitting president. <laughs> Fuck, that's old. Was pulled over and arrested on his, his horse. Was going ten miles an hour. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey. President Grant, take it easy. <laughs> Slow down. Take it easy, there, guy. No. You have two horses, sir? Hey, easy. Easy. <laughs> You're only allowed one horse on this road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Red Dead 2, that's now a, you lost me. That's oh, a great, man. That's a great yeah. image right there. That's great. So, yeah, it's just... They uh, run him over. They, they pull him over on, like, a giant bicycle, like those, uh, like, the like giant the, the wheel. wheel yeah. in the back. Excuse Blow me. Whistles. <laughs> the, balance on the, the balance on the wagon, because they... Ulysses! <laughs> Ulysses! <laughs> You're never going to catch me. <laughs> Ulysses! Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, no. It's the spirit yeah. of it. It's the victory. It's it's these type of grifters and people, just just the biggest one of all getting called on the carpet once. Mm-hmm. It's just the spirit of hope a lot of us need. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't think too much is going to come out of it. And I was reading up on it same, too same. Um, because I think I think the other thing too um, that I thought was mo- almost more interesting is that like the lawyers that are behind this are almost hesitant to be the first ones in history to sure. indict a president because you have all these other lawyers in the background saying like no i go do it do, do it because then that, if you do, do that then we'll jump in so we don't want to be the first ones no one wants to be the first but if y'all do this then yeah. we'll come in and bring a n- more potential yeah. charges and stuff so that's just another thing yeah that's a good point it's like very very interesting yeah that's, a, that's an excellent point of, of mm-hmm. it just might take one because i mean you know he's got six what six investigations going yeah Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, you know, I just count. it just, but it, it's not just even as president. It just goes back to even the beginning. You hear those stories. I was listening to some of the stories this week, um, and I think oddly enough, it was like Bill Burr talking about it. Like I heard a not even a bit, like on a podcast. And what? I heard some other what? people. Yeah. yeah, this guy, this my. Yeah. Um, but I was almost going to go Brooklyn, but uh, just like <laughs> you know, contractors would work on Trump Towers. The no. bill, the bill would be one hundred fifty thousand. They get paid thirty six thousand. They'd be like, "Hey, where's the money? We agree to this." Mm-hmm. And and the tr- Trump and his people would be like, "Fuck off, sue us." Yeah. And then they would sue, and they'd lose the lawsuit. And then like the insurance 
would pay. So they weren't actually so ever just paying. Scummy shit. Yeah. Just scummy shit. Mm-hmm. Going back to that. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean, he was wrongfully thrown out of the White House, you know? <laughs> Yes, that's, he was. That's what I think. That's that's what you think. You yeah. got you watched Dinesh Souza's documentary, documentary, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I I really don't think too much is gonna come out of it. But like you, I, I like that just, the 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 spirit of it is of is it. nice. Just just any more just like punching down on that fucking guy than yeah. and and more bad reputation and and yeah. uh, put in Ron like yeah. like saying shit about him too. I don't oh. like that fucking guy either. <laughs> I did, but I think DeSantis is even more danger. Oh, dangerous. absolutely. But, but yeah, because he's calculating and 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 just. Dude, he's like straight up like doing the same like mannerisms as Trump. Like it's fucking well, scary. Just look at all the stuff they're putting into play in Florida. It's it's you know. It's, Shout out to anybody that's that has to do. Uh, uh, big shit. I, big Big Lou, who Big Lou just did the super chat. My sister and I formed a support group called Liberal Children of Conservative Parents. Whoa, uh, Big Lou hey. is in. Uh, he lives in the Big Penis, the Florida. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, that's that is brutal. Like like like. Okay, yeah, you want to you want to ban books. You want to you want to. Band drag shows. And it's and all like, to like it's an own the libs vibe, right? Yeah. So now like and and this is not verified. I, I want to be clear. I'm, I'm just repeating uh, parodying a headline, but like mentions of Rosa Parks have been removed from the books or something like that. Again, whether that's hundred percent true or not, yeah. Someone in the chat can let me know. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting Aaron Hatcher to correct me, but like mm-hmm. or add more to context. But like mm-hmm. that's the problem, right? Yeah. And then and you're just doing this. You're doing, you're doing this, it's a grift. It's a power, fearful, power-hungry oh, yeah. grift. It's all grifting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And who knows, like, what the reaction. I know, like, he had said, like, oh, we need to protest. I don't think we're going to get another January 6th or anything like that. But um, Do it. I mean, sh- Start one in Burbank. What See what happens. I, I got a hatchet. I'll bring. I'll, I'll go down there and meet <laughs> you all there. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I did like seeing, uh, cause I wasn't on social too much. I think I popped on the other day and people were like, oh, what are you going to wear for your indictment party? And nah. stuff. like, oh, that's funny. Like, oh, again, that's, that's the that's spirit of hope. I, I, yeah. I'm with you. It, it's at this point, we've been told for six, seven years, he's going to, he's going to be indicted anytime soon. It's and never happens. You know, a little, little weaselly, little watermelon uh, escapes just mm-hmm. whoop, out of your grip. Just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's any chance just to kind of see the guy. Struggle a little bit. Like, I, I don't want to say, like, when he got COVID, it was funny. But when he got COVID, it was kind of funny. Not that I wanted anything bad to happen. Obviously, yeah, yeah, I would yeah. never want that. It's a, yeah. But yeah. for someone downplaying something so much to the point where millions, literally millions of people died. We, and we, I would we, assume... A lot of the correlation was because I listened to my daddy Trump, and yeah. he said, "Don't get it." We have we have a friend uh, who, who who will directly say Trump killed my dad because of that. He, his dad died of COVID, and, and mm. it's it's that. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm so with you. wouldn't ru- yeah, you, you be, how you fight is is important, but you know the why and the how and and how you yeah. approach it. Don't lose yourself when you're fighting. But um, mm-hmm. it was hard not to kind of be like, oh, it's was, just like that see? was too fast. <laughs> see, yeah. oh yeah, because that was what like. Yeah. Three or four months into it, maybe I don't know. I don't know when yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, it was, I can't it was pretty. I mean, the, the last those two years were a blur. A blur but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, when it like happened, we're like, "Holy shit!" Like, is this real? And it was, I, I and, it and it's and it's still, it's still a thing. I did, I just had a friend whose uh, um, um, father, stepfather died, mm. COVID. Went to a Thanksgiving party and caught it. And like refused to go get through. Yeah, recently. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. see, that's the other thing too. It's like we're still in it, kind of. It's a weird spot. I I I, I, I carry a mask with me. I always wear an airplane, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, you're. It's without a doubt, you look around, you go "Mm, back of your mind. I guess we're okay. I guess everyone's doing this. But oh, once in a while, I'll see the person with the mask, and I was like, fuck, good for them. Yeah, yeah. And, And then I get that weird guilt where I'm like, oh no, they probably. I am a white oh. male with a beard uh, and a podcast. They probably mm-hmm. think I'm just asking questions. What I like seeing is most people that are working and like just just working still. Yeah, yeah. They're all wearing masks. They're all doing it up. Um, mm-hmm. I think Japan is still like heavy on the mask. I mean, they've always yeah, they get, been. Yeah. I think, but um, but anyways, um, COVID sucks. Trump sucks for being an asshole for all that. And hopefully, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we'll I mean, see. you know, if there's a photo of him in cuffs. I'm gonna laugh. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna print it out. Yeah, and copy. yeah, yeah, we'll hang that up on the wall somewhere. That'll be the thumbnail for next. So week. Th- I, this thought I, I was having with my my friend uh, Ken Plume of the, of the YouTube show Show Force Five. We were asking mm-hmm. uh, each other this question offline, of you know, what what's his hair gonna look like? 
Oh man, I hope like are they gonna let him fix his hair up? I hope if they someone take a like, just, like yeah. screws up his hair because it's like what's yeah. that? What's the name that Andrew Tate guy? You know now he's got, oh, he's got no hair. He, well, no, well, he went from he had the cool shaved look, and the, mm-hmm. now he's his hair's grown out. Oh, it's grown and, out. And, and I haven't kept up. With, I know he's still like in jail. He's and still keep over there, yeah. pushing it back. But that's another guy. It's yeah, like, God damn. And there was that whole like cancer thing. Well, he's got can't, and it's like nah, he's just he can't take his. What a HGH, whatever the hell he was on. He can't work mm-hmm. out every day. He's not, he's can't not shave a top it. G. Yeah, he's, he's, top G. he's, my, in bu- prison. my Bugatti is yeah. not there anymore. Love yeah. Him. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Alpha males. We need to be alpha males. Gotta be alpha. Yeah. I got a fucker and he lives catty corner from me. Uh huh. And he, he's probably older than me and he's in great shape. He's, and he's tall. He's like 6'4, blonde white dude. Top tree. Big shoulder, like you can tell, you know, good for you, dude. Like, mm-hmm. good for you. I wish I, I, I work out, but I also eat. I drink Pacificos mm-hmm. when I go to Wangers. And he will get on his cell phone and sit outside. And we got, we got some, you know, some guys in our six houses. You know, maybe they don't work out as much. We'll just say that. Okay. Fair enough. It's your life. You do, you do, queen. Do what you yeah. want to do. And um, I see one guy, you know, he's going for a walk. And I'm like, I always say, I don't care what you look like. If if I see that, hey, you you're trying to go for a walk, I'm not gonna make fun of you. Mm-mm. Uh, you know, I don't care if you don't look good in spandex and going for a walk. Go mm-hmm. do it. And he'll get out there on his cell phone loudly, so then all of us can hear. Mm. There's a bunch of beta males in my neighborhood that won't uh, don't look in a mirror. I, I'm stronger mm-hmm. than all of them. And, I just, yeah. and he, he just wants someone to go over there and punch him. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's the only concept of masculinity he has. Yeah. And that's the dangerous thing, too, because, like, I always have to, like, check in on my my younger brothers. I mean, they're not – luckily, they're not, like, on social media Are they lot. proud boys? They're not proud boys, no. <laughs> I mean, you take a look at them, you made me think, no. Um, but they're, <laughs> they're just so – I have to, like – I feel like as a big brother, I have mm-hmm. a responsibility to be yeah, like, hey, should. just to let you know, yeah. you know. But for the most part, they're – not on social media. They don't pay attention to anything. They kind of yeah. live in their bubbles for better or for worse. Yeah. Um, they're not out there, you know, throwing F bombs or, you know, Good. throwing homophobic slurs. Yeah. But, you know, I always have to be like, hey, have you, do you know this Andrew Tate guy? And my brother's like, oh, that guy's fucking weird. I was like, oh, thank God. Okay. Because the, the, the worst part about the Andrew Tate stuff is that he's he, he could have such an impression on someone so young. Yes. And I think that's that was like his whole gimmick was yes. almost like indoctrinating little kids. To be yes. like, I want to be a top G. I want to be an alpha yeah. male. I want to fuck bitches and get rich, yep. you know. Yep. And it's like that's that's no, yep. you're you're a, you're you're uh, uh, not a uh, it's like, uh, fucking. Um, I lost the word, but uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, the shit he was doing, uh, sex trafficking. Sex Thank trafficking. you. I don't. I yeah. can't think of that. Um, like you're you're a terrible human being, and yeah. so like I'm always constantly like. You, you, yeah. you don't think he's like funny, do you? Yeah. You know, um, so yeah, no, and that's part of the problem is is the you know these young uh, impressionable impress, impressionable men um, who society has 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 led them in this kind of direction where they they feel even though they are not they're often in the power seat they feel like okay especially with all this change going around mm-hmm. and change is hard to process and yeah mm-hmm. I I was getting um well uh, you know where I used to get I could still get my contacts and eyes looked at oh yes and i was there and mm-hmm. a newer employee who had replaced someone mm-hmm. who had left mm-hmm. was there talking to me and started oh what do you do i'm a comic and did the same thing oh what do you feel about this oh no woke culture and mm-hmm. comedy dead the same thing and i'm like i just want my fucking eye contacts dude <laughs> yeah. and he does the same thing he's like well you know that's fine. and i i gave an answer of like nah jokes have meaning and words can hurt and and you got to be you know blah 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 yeah kind of what i said earlier in the show he's like that's fascinating so Jordan Peterson says, and I was like, "Go oh, fuck yourself, no. dude." Did you see Jordan Peterson's recent? Yeah, every, oh, he's. Oh my god, and, and uh, he's another weird one. Yeah. I, I I I watched. There's a there's a podcast called H3 Podcast. Um, yeah. This old this I say old YouTuber because he's been on YouTube for fucking forever. But um, they they have like the best sound bites all the time on that on that podcast, yeah. and they have some from Jordan Peterson. I was like, where the fuck is that from? And just some of the shit that that guy says, it's like, well, especially oh, it's Jesus gotten. Uh, I'm not at, at any level defend, defending him because I've hated him pretty much from the start. But mm-hmm. um, in the early days when he started to emerge, I could see you listening to something he says. You think it's fruits and vegetables, but really it's cherry pie, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And it's like mm-hmm. you think you're getting your daily intake of vitamins, yeah. but you're not. But there's something. There's a cherry in there. Yeah. In that pie, there's a there's your. Mm-hmm. In a, yeah. And you, but from that point, when a lot of my friends started getting into him, and one time my mom quoted him, I'm like, Nah, mom, we don't we don't do that here. Oh, jeez. Um, but like it grows grows to where now he's just like he's just he's imploded mm-hmm. because it, this this weird 
culture war he's in with himself almost. Yeah. Like, no one's asking your opinion on transgender people. No. But here you are fighting. Just, just You're fighting, fighting this for war. For some reason. Yeah, it's a weird obsession. But, it, but it's also part of the grift, too. It's just like it's part of the feeding grift. into it. Anything from yeah. the Daily Wire, just yeah. like spouting shit constantly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Jeff Hero. Ah. Mm-hmm. Like anything that they can use for a headline. And yeah, yeah. so they can make additional money off of they they don't, they don't give a shit. Steven Crowder, like all these fucking yeah, yeah. giant pieces of shit that just use these these keywords and woke and like Oh, it's insane. If you go I won't name them, but if you go to some of like the more geek culture ones and everything, mm. uh our pal, uh Mark Riley's tracked this before. He was telling me he goes, mm. if you could you could almost count to the second of when they say keywords that the algorithm will pick up. Whoa. And it's it's almost to a science, and that's why they're they're making yeah. millions. Yeah, and it's they yeah. probably like it's half the shit they probably don't even really believe. They just yeah. they just do. I it mean, at this point, I gotta imagine they do, but yeah, they they're uh, buying into. But it. you're in it long enough. Yeah, yeah. you you what is it? Uh, what does he say? Uh, um, I don't know the villain thing from the Dark Knight. Uh, it's apparently you, you either die die a um, hero or you live long enough to see yourself yeah. become the villain. There it is. Yeah, yeah, Boom. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dark Knight's Absolutely. mid. Uh, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's not. But uh, Manny says, fuck geeks and gamers. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little weird. <laughs> a little weird over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, I still have message for, messages from him begging to get on Schmoes, but <laughs> um, you you might be the problem. You you I don't know. It's your fault. It's if you would have answered. I, it was not my I was not I did not receive the message. Okay, all right, then there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Stephanie M says, Hey, H three, I watched their show Leftovers. I do like their show Leftovers. What they, is H three? Uh H three I was telling you about their podcast like oh, a second yeah, ago. They yeah, do uh, yeah, a political yeah, yeah, yeah. show with I thought um, it was like, yeah. There is this uh, Twitch streamer, his name is Hassan. You know him? I know. I know him. Yeah, he he's does a, a lot of. He does fact, a lot of po- political talk. Yeah, yeah, and he used to. Yeah, and he used to do those video series. Yeah, he was the one I was watching. He was watching Bill Burr, and I was watching him. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah he yeah. he used to be part of Young Turks like back in the day, and now he's that's just where a, I saw him. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, he's yeah. just a giant fucking Twitch streamer. Like, yeah, no, I, yeah, it's a cra- crazy, insane. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I watch him a couple times too. Um, yeah, yeah, for political stuff, and I get most of my political. I I always talk about him, but Ricky and Elliot from Internet Today, just like oh, I've been watching them all week. Yeah. Gold. Just gold, like every single week. Rick, just yeah, great commentary. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I, I love what Rick and Elliot, Elliot do. And I also love, like I said, you and I have talked about before, they do their thing, they get in their cars, they go home and live their lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'll see, like, Elliot tweet some stuff, like, mm-hmm. here and there, but Ricky is just like, no, nope, I do the internet stuff, and that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I love them. Yeah. They're they're so great. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, I see him occasionally coming out of that 7-Eleven because mm-hmm. they're in the old GPA offices. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just driving, wishing I was at 7-Eleven. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, speaking of 7 okay, we're done with the Trump stuff. We good? Yeah, we'll, anything else we'll, do, we'll do a follow-up when, do Cody's, a follow-up when Cody's back. I'll ask him some tough I, questions. Borderline, like, when the next elections come around, just want to, like, stream every day. Like, just <laughs> see how yeah, long it's yeah. going to go on for. Because that was an exciting time. It's, it's, it was so exciting. It's an exciting time. It might be alive. more dangerous this time around because I don't be. know what the fuck's going to happen. But uh, yeah. regardless, it's 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 fun entertainment. Uh, yeah. The only thing that I want to see out of all this, I want to mm. see Trump and DeSantis go at each other in the debates. Put and run. Uh, yeah. Put and run. Three fingers. I want to mm-hmm, see it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Is that... Yeah, never mind. Okay. Wait, what? No, no. The three fingers thing? Yeah. Just... The pudding? Yeah, okay. He eats <laughs> No, I know. I know. Okay, about... okay. I was gonna I was gonna I just I, I don't I'm not stupid that low. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not stupid that low. Um oh yeah, okay. So speaking of you brought up seven eleven and seven yes. eleven yes. has really good pizza. I brought up some pizza yes. something pizza related yeah. uh in the pre show and I wanted to I oh, wanted to specifically yeah. save it for this show. Yeah, yeah. Because I might and this might be like a fucking basic ass bitch take or whatever yeah yeah i might be i don't know like oh city boy but um i have a new <laughs> obsession uh, mm-hmm. of a pizza place okay and for Hit the me. longest time here in the heart of burbank uh uh, uh dino's family owned and operated fantastic it's one it's been one of my favorites personal favorite Okay, we're gonna put a pin in that. I want to ask some questions, some follow ups on that. I, and I and I also haven't been to certain locations. Like I haven't had to. I haven't been to Pinball or Prime Pizza or any of those places. Oh right, 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 right. Pinball. Um, yeah. but my new favorite obsession, mm-hmm. Ken. Yeah. Fresh Brothers. <sighs> that sounds like some. Uh, it sounds white as fuck, doesn't it? Yeah. Like sounds very basic as hell. Yeah. Have you never Bread had crumbs? We serve sandwiches. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Have you never had? No, I don't. <sighs> we don't do pizza in the house oh, okay. anymore because okay. the sure. the vegan house rules. Um, okay. We I can treat you to some hot tongue pizza, some great vegan pizza. Okay. 
Um, it'll cost you $120. Is Grace always home? Is she always home? Pretty much. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's times where she's not home. She shot a movie this weekend, so yeah. Oh, so yeah, you can order a little personal pan pizza. I'm just saying. Okay, no, okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. One night, I did. She left to, she was Uh-oh. gone for like two days, two women, or three days. she found out. No, women, no, no, women no, 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 she, no, no, because I, I. Women always know. <laughs> um, I was going to get you in trouble. Um, no, she was, no, no, we, I, I still, I'm not 100% vegan, as I've discussed before, so she has no problem with that. But like, she left, it was one of those days where I had like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Mm, oh, t- and so that Friday night. Yeah. I brought up Domino's, and I was like, fuck yeah. Oh, okay. And the guy was delivered the pizza. was like, you all have fun, like that type of, that <laughs> amount of pizza. The next morning, I woke up. I was physically ill. Oh, and shit. And I didn't even have, it wasn't like I ate all of it, because I was like, this is my Friday pizza, yeah. my Saturday pizza, some uh-huh. leftover pizza. Yeah. Uh, I, it, it, once you kind of purge your system of some of that stuff on a yeah. regular basis, because uh-huh. I had, last time I was here, I had two slices of Seven Eleven pizza. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. I think in the car out of the park, <laughs> some weirdo. There's a we, hey, there's a weird. Uh, you can come in, Ken. residentially <laughs> challenged guy in his car eating pizza. Um, it affects you a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you. I, I know, I know how you not entirely how you feel because I I'm having. Oh look cold. at that. Look, oh, who's, look who's in the chat. Hey, there are no vegan house rules. Remember when I said when Grace? I'm just kidding. I got you, I got you back, honey. Yeah, she got. I've te- never forced me. Grace, I was testing him. He passed. He yeah. passed. Uh, but I'm I'm with you in the sense that I haven't like gone like full vegan or anything like that. But I've definitely changed my diet a little bit for the better the start mm-hmm. of this year. No, you're looking good. Oh, thank you're you. Making I'm, me look I'm bad. trying. We gotta I mean, get hiking. I know. I literally said I had. I'm talking pizza because I had this pizza yesterday. Oh, pizza's great. Um. But like when I do like like oh fuck there's nothing here to me oh, I guess I'll go get something mm-hmm. like I physically feel like shit like oh why did I oh yeah spend so much time and money on like McDonald's and 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 like eat it when I'm sober like why did I do that <laughs> uh, why would I do that to myself yeah yeah Jake says cauliflower pizza is dope I really like that I didn't even try that yeah, there's I hear, a new I hear good things about there's it, a yeah. brand Grace and I like it's uh not a sponsor we'll shout them out tattooed chef. Mm. It's plant based and it's yep. really fucking good. No, no, there a Christmas Eve. I forget why I stepped out for a couple hours, mm-hmm. or not a couple hours. I got in my car and I went to Seven Eleven. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna. Back when I was alone, I used to drive around in my car and crying while I ate food oh, on holidays, great. right? Oh, yeah. On yeah, national yeah, yeah. holidays. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I think I'm gonna do that again, and um, including the crying. And I went to Seven Eleven, and the guy messed up because I know the owner, the manager. I was like, Can I get two slices of pizza? And he gave me four. And oh. I ate them in the car <laughs> driving through Burbank. I and mean, I you know, almost didn't make it home. When you I, have it, yeah. 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 It, oh, and it's yeah. not even just the disgusting side of it. It's just your spirit dies. Yeah. Your spirit oh, yeah. dies a Like, once bit. I kind of learned, like, oh, I don't, I don't need to, like, fill myself to the point where I'm hurting. Like, yeah, I could yeah. just eat to be content about mm-hmm. what I've eaten. So, like, this, this it's fresh— It's the American problem. Uh, eat, oh, yeah, yeah, we have mm-hmm. a Porsche mm-hmm. control problem for sure. But like this pizza that we got over the weekend, I was telling Amber, I was like, I really, and she, every time I pitch pizza, she's like, no, she's just like, because pizza it's so greasy, it's so yeah, thick, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah. And I and I was trying to pitch to her, I was like, this place, Fresh Brothers, it's really good pizza, good flavor, it's thin, and I like thin, yeah. You get a salad, you can have for lunch tomorrow, blah blah blah. She's like, okay, you won yeah. me over. It's like great, so we got it. She ended up like really really liking it. I was mm-hmm. very happy. Mm-hmm. And even today, like we had, I had one. They cut them in squares, the whole pizza, like, like a nice pizza, little medium yeah. pizza. So all I had, all of it was left for me was just like this one middle piece. And I had that in a salad. And I was like, "It's that was perfect. That w- I didn't need any more. It Would almost, I have eaten more? Yeah. Probably. But it almost pisses me off when you eat less and then you're content a couple hours later. And you're like, oh, I need to stop ordering three tacos. We had we had Mexican food mm-hmm. uh, from a great place, Tacoya, which has regular and, and vegan options, too. Mm-hmm. Great food, both both taste great. Taste great. I didn't go the vegan route. Mm-hmm. We had we had dinner with our friends uh, Joe and Tor, and um, I didn't order the normal three tacos that I get and the extra items. Oh yes, I just yes. got the quesadilla mm-hmm. and two tacos. Okay, even just one less taco. Yeah, I was fifty percent better. Yeah, it's 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 that simple. I mean, it's still like you know, it's still tacos and a quesadilla, but still, like you, yeah, you're, you're yeah, saving yeah. yourself that that one extra one that would have sent you over the edge, probably. It's just yeah, but anyways, let's rank pizzas. Want well, to rank pizzas? <laughs> well, do you have your graphic for your tier list of of? I had some questions. If you give me a second, I can pull it. Okay. By the way, shout out to Jake Stanley. Said R.I.P. Trevor Trevor Snan, uh, Strand. 
Uh, Strand, I can never pronounce his name. Nice shirt, Christian. Uh, the Black Dahlia Murder. Shout out to the Black Dahlia Murder. He was a vocalist that uh, tried to, uh, passed away a couple gotcha. months ago. Fantastic gotcha. band, amazing okay. band. Check them out. You like dark, uh, dark bands. You're a really. This is hard the edge. most. This is the most death metal. You're I'll a hard edge emo. I like some emo stuff. I'm but over here like emo gets, but that hard edge. Well, like, that some see talking music. Some of that you stuff have a crush a bit, on Amy Lee from Evan Ev- Evanescence. Oh, I did like her for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but uh, but I will Black say man. metal. Yeah, you want know does? Can we get back into music for a second? Uh huh. Uh huh. What what does kind of grind my gears mm-hmm. is the casual thrown out. Oh, you like your emo music? Oh yeah. Just because you. they scream, it's like yeah. No, I get. Hold you. on, buddy. Hold on, Mister yeah, yeah. Man. You know. I get you. So. Easy, easy guy. Okay. Um, I'll read some comments. Big Liz Clubhouse. There's a mom and pop Italian place that's the best pizza in Jacksonville that I go to more often than I should. Jake says, been a meat eater my whole life. Giggity. Sometimes those other options are just as good. Hell yeah. Laser Bolt uh, videos. Laser Bolt uh, got some great drone footage. Some of it I'm, I'm going to be repurposing for some shorts soon. Um, go to his channel. Check out his wonderful videos. One of the things I love. Oh, the comments gone. Yeah, hold on. I say, I got you. Uh, one of the things I love about intermediate fasting is that I eat whatever I want, and fasting makes me crave good, healthy food. I do want to try the intermediate, intermediate, intermediate fasting. I can't talk. Yeah, when I'm I, a little Pacifico drunk. When I first did uh, keto, like all those fucking years ago, uh, that was the thing that helped me the most was the uh, the fasting. That's what like fa- uh, not Fallon, um, uh, Kimmel did. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he lost a shit ton. Yeah. Um, then that's. Kind of what I do anyways, like what, what I've always kind of, because I don't eat breakfast. Um, Why not? And Why not? I just, it's just, I don't care for it. Like, it's the most important meal of the day, uh, son. Lunch is way better. I was just yelling at Grace, not yelling, telling Grace <laughs> with authority and um, conviction that she needs to work on breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Um, Big Lou says, who doesn't have a crush on Amy Lee from Evanescence? Yeah, that's that's fair. I think now I yeah I think Haley Williams would be higher on my tier ah, list. She's just amazing. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. So okay. we have uh, frozen pizza by taste. Frozen pizza. We have pizza chains. Is, is, oh, this is pizza chains. Okay. Where's see. yours? Where's your fast food one you tweeted out the other day? Oh, I don't have it like saved. You don't save your elements. No. Well, I have to. I had oh I I I know what you're okay I so had because two terabytes of elements I had to delete because it was a, it was a window capture I mean I have it on video uh, okay. somewhere oh that's fine that's fine I'm not I'm not I'm not here to debate with you mm-hmm. I I get tired of that of everything is a win or a loss I just want to have some questions on why some things were higher mm-hmm. um than than others um and i know like i love del taco not everyone's gonna love del taco i yeah. despise in and out not everyone's gonna despise in and yeah totally get that totally get that um but if you oh no uh oh did you just break it i think everything's okay everything's okay, okay. the you're paused <laughs> no we're back we're back, we're back. okay i, think I don't think paused. anyone messed nothing on the stream um <laughs> christian do you want me to send it to you what is nick Reeves in your DMs. Which one do you want to send it? Uh, Nick's one of the mods, though. He's, oh, he's, he's a mod. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that. I, I mean, like I have that. here. Uh, if we want to do one of these tiers, okay. I have. I'm here. game to try. I don't know a lot of these brands. But I don't know a lot of these ones. So I, let's ask the chat. Like, what tier video? Like, what tier do you want? Tier maker thing? Do you want me and Ken to do? Pizza like, chains, we have pizza, pizza chains, kinds. frozen pizza. Here's the thing: the pizza kinds. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted a- about the pie. I love pineapple on pizza. You cannot take that away from me. I will not make you have it. Mm-hmm. It's an exhausting fight. Uh, it's like every year we have to deal with Die Hard as a Christmas movie. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, and, and also I'm just like a straight-up pepperoni guy. I like a good pepperoni and a cheese. Like yeah, that's, I've that's had pizza with it. you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a basic ass. Because like Dino's, pizza. Dino's is a local thing. This is not a conversation almost for the audience because um, – it's just no one knows. It's Dino's is Burbank local. We, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Is it like used to be yeah, I will food. like I will until yeah, it, that's all we ate there. Well, actually, it was that and um, well, we eventually would Wood Ranch. We we got to Wood Ranch, I, uh, yeah, which cost them an arm and a leg, and and it was very nice of them. Um, but the pizza was an easy go to guy. Uh, but then until, like well, until ate, com- <laughs> ate competitors. competitors <laughs> who weren't competing and on the call sheet would show up to watch the match- matches. God mm-hmm. bless them. Yeah. Then would come out and eat all the food first and yeah. s- before the people, especially the tech crew. Hey. And you'd come out having run camera for six hours 
no food. So yeah, maybe <laughs> I was a little upset. You know, <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm but not I, naming but I still... names. One of these days I will. But yeah, we know which one we're talking about, right? Uh, there's at least five, but yeah, okay. there's, right. there's right. I yeah. know the one you're thinking of. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, Doesn't Manny and or, <laughs> uh, and or Nick, uh, whoever sent uh, it. So, okay. okay. I have it pulled oh, up got, here. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. you know what? This is fascinating. Oh, this is, this is on, just wanna, as fascinating on, to me as whether or not Trump will be indicted and we get a perp walk photo. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I want to save this image because I want to. God damn it. You're really good at the OBS. I'm learning. Well, I, I've, I've learned a I'm lot of things. To do, I, Troy's here. The Merlot line. Pineapple and buffalo chicken is one of my favorite topping combos. Sweet and spicy. So let me see if I can do this. I want to be able to have it up there. Uh, Daniel, that is that is, that is in, uh, is incorrect. That is not the that is not the one. Oh, no. That guy's just a piece of shit, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Um, Second that. Um Okay, uh, Wiley Todd says, Christian, did you ever... Oh, you blocked the comment with your OBS skills. Christian, did you ever watch One Tree Hill? If so, it wasn't crazy the band Fallout Boy was a recurring guest, plus one of the guys dated a character. I like that. I like that. Um, one of my favorite uh, shows uh, is uh, Gilmore Girls, and uh, Amy Sherman Palladino, um, huge music fan, and... Sebastian Box in the show, but just the references, the callouts of, of bands. I love that kind of stuff. I imagine it's harder to work in like a replacements reference in Marvelous Miss Maisel. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So are they seeing that yet? So oh, tra- hit that transition. Okay, there so, we go. Okay. Hit that transition. Thank you, Wiley, by the way, for the super chat. Appreciate by the way, you it. did this all on the fly, far <laughs> away from OBS. OBS is a is I a prickly pear. I cannot see. Uh, I can't even do much. So Ranger Donald says Mods Mods Pizza is my favorite chain pizza. That's not a chain, Ranger Donald. You're making it up. You live in Pennsylvania. That doesn't. That exist. is a place. Doesn't exist. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So you want to you want to break <laughs> this down? Yeah. Okay. So okay. so how does this work? We got so you have a uh, the best the A best. B C D E and then never had. Could Amber come in and give me an eye test right now? Because I can't. <laughs> I can't see I, the bottom. We just, we just can't see. Okay. Jesse's comment. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, <laughs> so Ken, go ahead and judge. <laughs> go ahead and judge. No, okay, stop reading. The, don't read the comment. <laughs> okay, read okay. my tier list. Okay, me. I have quite. This is uh, who made this list. You. So um, these were all the options that I had. Please explain your love of Arby's to me. It's again. I'm a basic bitch, right? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, just, no, I just, I just love. I don't love anything crazy or fancy off the menu. Just a straight up roast beef sandwich, and I'm a fan of it. I like their Arby sauce. I don't know what it's made out of, okay. But I, I, I like having it. They have really good curly fries, pigtail fries, as we call them in our pigtail house. fries. Okay, and the the uh, crisp cut fries, pretty good too. I, I like them. those. I had them. They they just started those. So yeah, um, it's a, okay. is it is it a little bit of a meme? Sure. But, Arby's, Arby's, yeah, yeah. The, the, and the fact that I love it, and like the only person yeah. on the planet that loves it, so. you and uh, Ash Crossan, no, oh, she yeah. loves mm-hmm. Arby's. Okay, um, perhaps a little too much. Um, so, okay, see now, I there's not many near me. I really have to drive out of my way to, mm-hmm. to go and do it, and it's on various special occasions when I do. When I'm just like Arby's, uh, yeah. If I wake up, I'm like, oh, there's not a lot around here. No, and I wake up and I'll be like. I want Arby's, but but that's won't won't go out of my way too much. To, to Emmanuel Fuentes' comment. Now hold on, Christian is right with Arby's. He's right for you both. Mm. Arby's for me is hot spits in a bag. <laughs> yeah, but I there used to be one across the street from the mall when I started out in public mm-hmm. safety, and I was like twenty three and had no money, so we would go over there, mm-hmm. and it just it just it just tasted like boredom mm. so i okay. am i am interested mm-hmm. in going back to it and reevaluating with you can we do a bonus wanger drive in one day when these days oh yeah mm-hmm. people do love those drive throughs and it's just i mean it's hard it's hard to do them but cody doesn't have to be involved i could spin off and just like take you along we just have our we should just yeah. do our own series we just do our own series yeah cody's got important things to do raising children yeah oh he sent me a photo today of him just so cute Cuddling with his kid, I'm like, God oh, damn it, that's adorable. Yeah, you get you're getting a lot of support from Arby's, Laser Bolt, Big Lou's, 
Wiley Ranger Todd, Donald. Ranger Donald. Okay. All right, so I just want to know. I just want to know. And, and also, I get it. It's the simplicity. Also, of- if I wake up uh, uh, on a morning and be like, I want a roast beef sandwich. I'm not. My first thought, is, like, if I'm going to get roast beef from somewhere. I'm Let me make- ask you this question. Mm. When you grab a roast beef sandwich out of that bag, unwrap it. Mm-hmm. Is it a tad too sexual for you? I mean, when I take that bite, I'm definitely like, okay. Mm. I got it. You know what I mean? Got it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bit. All right. So, let me see that list again. Yeah. Let's see here. Hold on. Let's um, back up. Jersey, what's next to Jersey Mike's? Jersey Mike's and then Wingstop. I think Wingstop. Uh, is I've never been to Wingstop, so I can't register opinion. Goated. Now, Jersey Mike's. Goated. I love Jersey Valid. Mike's. Valid. Valid. As the best? It's be- like, I love Subway because it's horrible. Okay. Yeah, that makes, You know, it yeah, makes no. sense? That's the same I, thing with, like, McDonald's. I and, will not yeah. defend Subway, but mm-hmm. I get it. Some days I just, Grace will tell you. I'll be sitting there on the couch and be like, I'll be back. I smell yoga mats. Uh, and then I come back <laughs> with a sandwich. <laughs> I will say the, the smell is uh, tantalizing. It's is that unique. the right word? It's it's it's, it's like, huh, okay. So Five Guys is good. Uh, I like Five Guys. Burger King, Bigots, Five Guys, In-N-Out, <laughs> Panda Express, Papa John's, Popeyes, yeah, Taco like. Bell. Okay, explain to me like you, why Various you like reasons. pooping so much with Taco Bell. Oh, I mean, Taco Bell is like the ultimate. I think if there's one, if you're... It, I, the only reason it's not at best because it's 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 Taco Bell, and I feel uh-huh. like I'd, I'd, I'd lose, I'd lose my Latino card or third Mexican card or something. <laughs> you but already, you already have, according to some. So uh, that's true. If I don't yeah. speak Spanish, I'm not real. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's it's for me. It is the ultimate. It is the ultimate fast food drive through. Like, what do we want? Trash. Let's eat it, and it's great. Okay, I I have I have to disqualify Taco Bell based on what it's does to me so mm. it's out of the picture and again very simple i'll just get tacos okay. i'll just get a shit ton of their tacos and that's it oh yeah 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 yeah. you okay. know am i waking up in the morning hmm, i want tacos I'm, I'm going straight to taco bell no i'm going to my yeah. local taco okay. place that i go to but yeah 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 five guys so jake has a question never had five guys i've had five guys once it cost me thirteen dollars. Yes, and I think I had a heart attack, but it tasted great. It's 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 a good quality char burger. Yeah, um, and they give you a crap ton of fries. They yes. give you a yes. lot of yes. they they do the thing where they put it in the cup. Yes, and then they throw the rest in the bag. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, now here's the thing. Mm. Here's the thing. The problem is bigot chicken is good. That was my yeah yeah. I don't agree. Okay, yes. I wholeheartedly I think everyone here, and maybe there's one wonderfully person with the moral high ground to oh, say there is. they've yeah. never done it for a fact. Yeah, there is. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I no, guarantee I, it. God bless you. But like, man, like when I was in Houston for that 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 event out there, mm-hmm. that it was the only thing nearby me was that, and it was either that or I go get food from the hotel yeah. vending machine, mm-hmm. and I was weak. And I yeah, broke, yeah. and mm-hmm. I apologize to the those of the community I hurt with it. But I mean, bigot it, chicken is, is in great. and out not the same. They're just not as vocal. They're not as vocal. Look, and it, look, I always say this: the employee at your local In and Out might not have the beliefs of the CEO, right? <laughs> like, I, I, same I, thing I can, with the Chick Fil A too. I, yeah, I and I. That's yeah. why, like, I never boycotted Uber because some oh, dudes yeah. just trying to make an extra buck to put food on his table. Mm-hmm. And if I can, you know, I, I, it's not him, but, you know, there's bigger corporations rule today. So, yeah, look at the donation list of all your corporations. Right. They're just they're just. It got it's a thing. Right. Yes. So but yeah, so I get it. I get it. I think there's other places to get the chicken. And that's the point. Yeah. Mark Ellis, Andrew Guy and I have the great spicy chicken sandwich crawl in town that we do every now and then. We haven't done it in a while. Okay. Wait, Jonah. I'm like, hello. Um, so that's good. Okay, the burger. Th- I don't. We're not gonna go through everyone here. I don't. That would take t- twelve hours. <laughs> burger King. Yeah, I used to love the Whopper. Is like the most cal- calorie filled burger in the fast it's food so world. Good. Uh, I tried the the vegan one one day. And no, and the, it, it tasted it tasted just like a Whopper, as okay. most vegan food does. Yeah. Um, I just don't have a great system. <laughs> uh, that's fair. It's, it's, I went it's, to the Burger King that's right next to mm-hmm. that's in the opening of Back to the Future, the one on, oh, on uh, yeah, yeah. Victory. Uh huh. And I almost didn't make it home. Um, okay, I think that's the one I go to all the time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, I I came around to Burger King pretty. Re- I think like last year we had it on a road trip, and I was like, "You can have it." Your and way. I haven't had it in forever. I'm like, oh fuck, this is kind of good. Yeah. All right, all right. I, I'm gonna jump around here. Um, I love Jack the Box quality has dipped. 
Yeah. The Jumbo Jack used to be my favorite. Those see-through tacos, great. <laughs> Domino's, on the other hand, has improved over the years. And I stand by Domino's. I, I'm with you there. I almost would bump it up to the A level. The, uh, the pan pizza is just phenomenal. The crust. Yeah. It's really, really uh, good. Yeah, they have a spinach and feta cheese pizza and, like, bread. Because, you know, you get pizza and then you get some cheesy bread on the side. Okay. And then die. Um, okay, let, let's just let's skip through a lot of these. What do you think of my F, F list or my F tier? You're really rushing me through IHOP. Um, no, um, <laughs> oh, you want to talk? No, about no, IHOP? I've, I haven't been to IHOP since 2006. What's your F tier? Baja Fresh, Denny's, El Pollo Local. Baja Fresh sounds like smells like wet dog. Um, Denny's, it's disgusting. Not in a good way. Denny's, I like Denny's, okay. but I'm not here to defend its quality. I'm here to uh, defend its atmosphere. Um, best post when I was in pro wrestling, we'd go to Denny's after the show till like two in the morning. It was great. Mm. Um, DQ, I like DQ for the what they do, the ice cream. Yeah, that's oh, a good Oh, sorry, I jumped up. That's all good. El Pollo, I have, yeah. I have fond memories. My grandparents, gosh. rest in peace, used to go there every single day. Oh, gosh. And even on holidays, Pizza Hut, too greasy, Quiznos, hot, hot sandwiches, get out of here. Your subway disrespect is accepted. White Castle, I was when I was in Tennessee, mm-hmm. I was like, I got to try White Castle. Yeah. Uh, Sonic is good, though. Oh, I, I terrible really? fries. The, 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 the what times, about the tater tots? I'll give you the tater tots. You want to drive the, out to Asperia right now? <laughs> the, the, I think there's one There's one in my parents' neck of the woods. But Yeah, that's, um, they're out there. But it's uh, okay. Okay. One, one tiny meal isn't going to make... You know, if like if I was going on Burger King and that tier list up there, the, the way it's, I'm not going. I'm yeah. like, oh, but those chicken fries. Like, yeah, no, there's, a, there's a couple of other things. You know, that. yeah. And then Ranger Donald, the king of Pennsylvania, brings up the age old regional question. Hardee's, he says, is top tier, but for us, that's Carl's Jr. I've never been to Hardee's. Yeah, I've been to Hardee's uh, on the, off, off the been. forty off the forty uh, forty freeway mm-hmm. into Tennessee. Uh, it's 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 Carl's Jr. Right, it's the same company. It's a different name, yeah. past the Mississippi or whatever it is. But they have regional things, so you can get like strawberry, like Danishy things. Oh, and you can't get and, that and they're all called like thick burgers. So it's not like the mm. double western. It's like the western thick burger. It's mm. it's it's you're, you're it feels like you're in a weird, you know, quantum realm. Like you're okay. in the mul- you're in the multiverse. multiverse. Okay. Well, Ranger Donald also brings up Waffle House is more like medieval times at a time. <laughs> uh, I, when Amber and I were in Florida, uh, like a month ago, mm-hmm. I was trying so hard to get her to go mm. and we to Waffle House yeah. to Waffle House. And she's like, is the food good? I was like, that's not the point. Yeah. I, I, was I went the point in Johnson city, Tennessee. Yeah. I went once when we did a schmodown, I think, and it was either Florida or Texas or one of the two. I don't know if it's in Texas, but we, we went there. I think the hotel we were staying at, there was a Waffle House right oh, next to us. So that, yeah. that says a lot, but, yeah. um, and it was just like a vibe, and we didn't we didn't experience anything like crazy, but it it's just like sounds like a Jim Gaffigan bit because I think he does do a, a bit about mm-hmm. this, and Gaffigan's great. Um, I, I went to the one in Johnson City, one of the ones in Johnson City, Tennessee. This mm-hmm. is like 2008, and Chef with a cigarette. Hell I'll yeah, go to my grave telling yeah. you that's true. And what was funny is that Amber and I were driving from Tampa to Orlando. And along the way, I kid you not, like every exit, Waffle House, Waffle House. She's like, wow, they're really like all over the place. Yeah. And she was getting more and more curious. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's too late now. Like we can't, we can't just stop and do it. We have to like come yeah. in at like two in the morning and just see what happens. You know, like there were Waffle House signs that were, it wasn't even spelled waffle. It was just Apple House, <laughs> Apple House, like <laughs> falling apart, like just amazing, <laughs> amazing stuff. So I didn't really eat dinner. I'm going to have to hit something on the way home. Oh, I had, I had some. I wasn't eating too well today. I had my salad, but I we had uh, I, just, I was at the beach this weekend with family. We did tacos. We did everything. I mean, so I yeah. took some leftover chicken from and had some chicken tacos. Yeah, see, so I've been having tacos. I've been having quesadillas. And uh, yesterday I had a grocery store enchilada. Ooh, okay, really good. Ralph's, I, I, good. Uh, Ralph's got some good shit. I, I've Kroger's we, for you people across okay, the Mississippi. Yes. I, I even me Amber was like, "Can you give me a?" a the Ralph's brand cream cheese. I was like, okay, which one is that? She's like, it's Kroger. I was like, oh, oh, oh they yeah, got yeah. plenty of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, I like mm. food. Yeah. Okay. As far as pizza chains and pizza, like it's it, the local ones. Like the, my thing with Dino's is I've never been inside. I used to oh, live yeah. 
right on that street. I mm-hmm. don't anymore, so I'm not doxing myself. It's a great, uh, it's a great I building to, structure. I used to walk, and it's like the old pizza. Mm-hmm. Like you just won the baseball game, and your family took you there, and it's got the red glasses and the and the the, the you know lamppost pizza. Yeah, yeah, or, and, mm-hmm. and the the checkered thing. It's got all that, and so every time mm-hmm. I walk by. Oh, I want to go in, I, but I just didn't enjoy it as much during the Schmodown days. So I was yeah. like, eh, and it's a little oh, doughy. It's would, a little doughy. We would throw those things fucking back left when we would be able to eat. We threw those things back like mm. like nothing. Like, well, nothing. remember, eventually they learned to order a separate pizza for the tech crew yeah, oh and hide it. Like, God bless uh, Jen Sturger, Emma Fife, who would uh-huh, just like uh-huh. grab a pie and be like, "Here, I'm just grabbing this for you." Like yeah. before we started doing that, and then just be like, "Just so you guys can eat." I was like. Thank yeah, you no. So uh, Emma and Jen uh, are they're, the they're 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 full of empathy, and mm-hmm. and uh, I remember those days. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days. The um, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, like the quality of um, or uh, the other. God damn it, we were just talking about it. not Don, Dino's, but the other place we would have uh, Wood Ranch. Wood Ranch. Thank you. I don't know why I blank. It on just it. was also cost more. It super. I mean, great food. Great food. Uh, you know, like, you know me. The spread else. is like so limited, and you know, it's so. it's barbecue. Yeah, you know, Ellis and I live there. Yeah, I walk in now. I see. Yeah, Ellis and I will still go maybe once every two, three weeks. Mm-hmm. And you walk in. He goes about three times a week. And <laughs> the staff, I'll walk in. They'll be like, "Is Mark coming?" Yeah, like he's on the way. Oh, it's just you tonight. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah, I, we we might be a little busy. Um, but mm. yeah, mm. the can ripped out one of my mustache hairs, and if I was oh, at home, I'd be screaming happens every all the swear time. word. Happens all God the time. Bless it, that hurt. But not a year, not a two thousands <sighs> kind of rant. Square, square word, swear word. Oh uh, yeah, no, no. Whoa, I try to avoid that. Whoa, cursing. Avoid that. Uh, does anybody remember the Godfather pizza chain? Asks Jane Smith in chat. Um, Truly a degenerate form of a pizza <laughs> buffet, but affordable for high college students. Oh, I love that. I don't remember that. That might be regional. Mm-hmm. I used to go to, I did go to some Chuck E. Cheese's as a kid. Oh, my God. Uh, we still, there's a, for some reason, a Chuck E. Cheese still here in Burbank. And I'm like, how is this place still oh, open? Oh, yeah, that one's this It's just like open. tucked in a corner. Mm-hmm. And, and then never see anybody They long inside. got rid of all the animatronics and stuff. That's uh, that's oh, long yeah. gone. But. That, that was my days. And then the uh, the ball pits yeah. and then the tunnels going yeah, all going over the place. Yeah, going underneath it. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those are those are my favorite, man. Those are those are my favorite. Like above all of the pizza chains, is the hole in the wall, and like specifically yeah. what you're saying, the after baseball game. Like, yeah, like oh. oh man, get a root beer and a pizza. You know oh. what was a good slice of pie when you and I went to the batting cages, and then afterwards, wasn't that bad? yeah, you got some pizza. Wasn't, it wasn't that wasn't, bad? Wasn't that bad? Yeah, I have been um, ever since I had. I had to look up the. It's like um, it is a place, but they do uh, a food truck. And they actually, it's like a Detroit, they have Detroit style pizza, but then they also had a Chicago oh, deep never, dish that okay. I, me and they, they were parked outside of work one time and Ellis and I were like watering at oh, the okay. mouth because it looks so fucking good. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And like, it was just a legit Chicago style pizza, like right in front of me um, for like, I don't know, like 20 Chicago bucks style. or something like that. I don't know where that, yeah, but I can't do that stuff. Wait, I did oh, it so in Chicago, so Star good. Celebration, and it was like, oh man, that was, that was, a, that know? was a good trip. That was a fun trip. It was a great trip. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That was the first night. Me, Scrimshaw, Ellis, and Skaliski Skilis- mm-hmm. went to um, Pacifico. Um, went to like Luminati's or whatever. Mm-hmm. Illuminati, mm-hmm. whatever they're called. Lou Giadornos. Giadornos. And I, yeah. I about mm-hmm. fell asleep at the table because the food yeah. so they can't do I want to go back to Chicago so bad. It's a fucking dope ass city, man. I liked it. I liked it. I need it. to go back. I'm, I'm planning on going back to New York later this year. Um, actually, yeah. Eric Striffler, he's going to be on next week. Um, I've never been to New York while Eric is in town. Oh, that's so I'm really trying to plan it out and be like, hey, when are you staying still, fucker? Yeah. Like, stay in one spot so I can I've hang had, out. I doubt he's still watching, but I've I've had Italian food with Jake Baldino in New York. Oh, that sounds Me, amazing. Me, him, and Alicia Malone. Dang, that yeah. must have been a while yeah, ago. Yeah, 2015. Dang. It was great. I feel like he'd be the one be like, I mean, I feel like he yeah. knows some spots. He 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 knew some spots. It was great. God, that sounds like He's a just such a good guy. Yeah, any time to hang out with him. Remember hey, when I mean, we saw him? Were you with us when we all went to see John Williams at the yeah, bowl? Yeah, yeah, I And was we there. passed him on the street, and we're mm-hmm. all like, that guy looks like Jake Baldino in it, it, Hollywood. It is. <laughs> it was. That might have been one of the first times I think I ever met him, too, because yeah, yeah. that was like 2014, 2015? It was, I want to say a little later. It was around 2016, 2017. Maybe 2016, because um, yeah, yeah. I remember it was still was kind of Collider. early on. I didn't know if you liked me or not, you know, that kind of thing. Because he he, Were you there when he was on Schmoes? 
Because there's some pictures Wichita. of me and him at that fancy overpriced bar we went to after Chili's. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. maybe I did meet him once prior to that, but I can't I can't quite remember. Um, it's crazy. It's been, dude. I've been I just think about it because this year marks like the 10 year anniversary that I first started doing stuff on YouTube. At the end of 2013 oh, wow. is when I started Copster reviews. Copster reviews. Mm-hmm. It's still occasionally. That email auto populates. <laughs> oh, I still have. P- I gotta tell. I was just on uh, Settle the Score with Matt Nost. And oh Andy yeah, Mayweather. good old notes. Uh, Adam Lavick was on it as well, yeah, and I forgot to tell Andy. him like, hey, because he still emails me to cops review. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I have a different email. You can email. I just gotta. I just told. I think I told like Phil Svitek recently, and yeah, Kuga probably still emails me there. I don't know, but um, well, he yeah, I need to he change. He doesn't it. know your first name. Nah, I don't um, think he does, but um. But yeah, yeah, it's been that fucking long. Ten years, yeah. And I started producing this podcast October two thousand twelve. So it's so over ten. Uh, that's crazy. No wonder people think I'm old. <laughs> ten no years wonder. ago, man. I'm starting to do the the game streams on uh, YouTube, moving mm-hmm. over from Twitch, and getting that thing that happens every time, which is great because I'm glad glad people know I'm still alive. But like, you know, like, hey, where you been? That, that happens mm-hmm. all the time, and it, I do, it, it's great. Mm-hmm. So I'm here. Come come hang out with yeah. me more. But mm-hmm. it's always like you forget. You forget. Yeah, Jane's saying 2015 Alicia Malone. I think that's I, taking me back. I think I saw Jake Stanley in the in the chat. He was like, "Holy shit, Christian's alive! What happened?" <laughs> to you? Yeah. To me? Yeah. Yeah. I think he said he hasn't, he hasn't like seen me since like the Schmoes days. But I, I get like, it. That's, oh shit! That's yeah, cool. Yeah, people you, you, they don't necessarily follow you. Uh, it's you know I don't like I don't watch baseball anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like the first season. Uh, my draft is on Sunday. Thank God I have a co-owner. I don't. I haven't watched one inning of baseball. Yeah, in I like might actually. Be going, I might be going to a game in April for the, it's like my, my first game I've been to in. Years. I haven't been to Dodger Stadium for a baseball game in five yeah. plus years. How do you feel about the new changes? The stadium? I don't know. Oh, to the game? To the game? Yeah, not oh. the stadium. Like just speeding the game up. Uh, I don't despise them as much as people want me to believe that I should. Mm-hmm. Um, speeding it up is not a horrible problem. I think some of the changes in strategy. It's just a different era of of. Baseball. They've also, gone woke. They, 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 well, actually, that's There's one probably re- going to be a... But that's one of the reasons I don't watch baseball as much. There's probably at least 20% of MAGA players in there, so I have a hard time rooting for those types. But, um, um, yeah, I, no, it's uh, um, it's okay. And, like, I, I my, my favorite thing in baseball was stolen bases, and that vanished over the last 10 to 20 years. Oh, wow. You, you, have, you have to wait till the ball crosses the plate? No. <laughs> like Little League? <laughs> like Little League? Yeah. No, but like it just wasn't part of the game, and the stats and the, and the, and the metrics tell you this and that. And because they widened the bases, uh, drink that Pacifico, and they, there's more steals. And I love, I actually, so I love that. So I'm okay with it. Because if you don't, if you don't change the rules, you ha- you're playing with 1918 dead ball stuff. Like you've got to change. Yeah, I get it. I, when when Cody and I were talking about it last week, he's like, "What? Are you one of these guys? Are you an oldie? You were like, oh, you, you an you're oldie? Like, you like the process just because you played the game?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, a little bit, you know." Like, I get it, but it's yeah. just it's just awkward now. Yeah, like, when you only have 15 seconds, and yeah, you and you, you got Scherzer and some of these guys. I've seen some of the highlights of what they're doing. Um, but the game will survive. It's always going to survive. It always has. I still love I play MLB The Show every day. So mm-hmm. I love the game of baseball. I just yeah. don't watch as much because t- time is on. But tying it back to the YouTube stuff. Yeah. I, I, I can't tell you. I don't still watch a YouTube channel 10 years on. I don't. Mm-hmm. I couldn't name you one that I. Yeah, that's true. You know, like I, even ones I discovered a long time ago. It's like, oh, yeah, they'll pop up. And mm-hmm. unless it's an ASMR channel, I'm not watching it daily. Yeah. Or Bo with a fifth column. Or yeah, something. still very few. And even still, like, I didn't even really watch stuff on YouTube until I started doing Schmo stuff. But even then, I wasn't watching too much stuff. But that, But here's the thing. You're so right. I'm amazed that anyone's watching this now. I'm amazed that anyone wants oh, yeah. to listen to my stuff or, or listen to Force Center mm-hmm. because I don't listen to that stuff. I, when I go on yeah. YouTube, it's to learn how to do OBS. Yeah, it's to uh, watch an old guy get a haircut. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's to figure out how to op- how to hang a shelf. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what I go yeah. on YouTube for, or to watch some history stuff or something. There's like any that. like After yeah. Effects tutorial. I'm like, how yeah. do I fucking do this shit? And then I just try to learn how to do it. And I'm like, oh cool. And it's always like some. <laughs> Super random YouTuber without even like a huge following. Or here's here, here's also the thing too. If you want to be successful on YouTube, start a channel teaching how to be successful on YouTube. Oh, there those you are know. the only channels doing well because you'll go to those channels. You, you'll always find them. Here's yeah, yeah. three things you're doing wrong. I'm like, okay, I got to figure out because I want to grow my ASMR channel and I'll yeah. watch it. And I'm like, what does this person do? <laughs> oh, they just do a channel on how to do things on YouTube, yeah. and everyone's watching it to get successful. So, but none of those channels are getting successful, just theirs. Just theirs. 
That's the key. Cody says, uh, Christian protested the NBA adding the 24-second shot clock <laughs> in 1954. See? Cody, See? I didn't know that was a thing. But, like, you so know. So they have 24 seconds to, to, for the shot clock? The forward pass was illegal in the NFL until, mm. like, 1922 or something. I don't, know that. The, I don't even know if I've ever been to a basketball game before. I think I went I once never, when I was a kid. I've never been to a basketball game. It'd be a lot of fun. I I'm always see, cool. like, the celebrities in the front row and yeah. be like, ah, oh, those must be expensive. Expensive. And here's my thought. You know how the risk of you getting hurt in those seats? <laughs> Oh, true. That's disgusting what you just did. I uh, hate. You know, I've been podcasting for almost 10 years, Ken. I'll go. I can do that. I'll go. I to, put it in my 100 episodes. Let's go to a Wanger baseball game. Oh, my God. Dude, we've been trying to do that for so long. Dodger just, Stadium or Angel Stadium doesn't right, matter. Let's do Angel Stadium. I, I, love, I like Angel Stadium. I have. I mean, it's it's a nice it's a nice place. It's a great stadium. Um, the, Yeah, this Dodger, because I'm going to, I think I'm going to a Dodger game. I um, like the new additions to Dodger Stadium. That's what I thought you were asking. Well, I, I haven't been. But, I, but to be fair. I only went for the Lady Gaga concert, so uh, I, I okay. can't tell you. I, I sat like, on the first base line. I want to do it because I think I might be going with Amber and, and her and some of her family members, yeah, and so yeah. I want to be like, no, we're gonna do this right. Do we're right. gonna go to Philippe's first. Oh, you gotta get do some Philippe's. sandwiches or Felipe's, and it, and Philippe's. then go to the game and, get, and then get a couple Dodger dogs, get some nachos. I heard the dogs no. changed though. I heard they, they did. They, it's not Farmer John anymore. Is it just Frank's or? Uh, it's just, I don't know. Ballpark Frank's Ballpark is Detroit. Frank's. That's the natural oh, okay. brand that started. I knew because I did a little mini documentary for fandom last year about oh. Ballpark Frank's and Tiger Stadium. There you a go. A combination built for history. Oh. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, right. Laser Bolt says my lines were champions back then. Yeah, when the sh- forward pass was illegal. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Jane Smith says, love you guys. Seriously. Oh, I love you too, Jane. Thank you so Does much. Does Angel St- <laughs> Ranger Donald. Ranger Donald, you live in Pennsylvania. How do you know this? Does Angel Stadium still have that giant homeless camp outside? It is not. They, they the, On the riverbed? The riverbed. Yeah. They yeah, did, I think they cleaned that up. They did yeah. move it along. You they know. moved it to Dodger Stadium, like in the park. <laughs> It might be. Yeah. It might be like closer Look, over there. It's a serious problem. We're trying to find out. A former employee of mine is now a state senator. Mm. I um, thought you were going to say a former. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, no. go ahead. Uh, she's trying. Homelessness is, is her key thing. She's fighting here. Caroline Menjivar, uh used to work for me. She's mm-hmm. great. Um, so it's a problem. But yes, no, that is gone, Ranger Don. <laughs> yeah. Anaheim was like, "How do we fix this? We criminalize it, and we move it along." Um, there it is. But I understand it is a problem. It's a tough call. Yeah, it's an issue. Yeah. I cost. I coast. Oh, Ranger Donald says I coast L.A. I visit L.A. every, <laughs> every two, two years. years. That's great. I love it. So, yeah, um, what do you do, Ranger Donald? When you come out, you just drive around. Yeah, anytime I Look talk to that, someone that's that. not from L.A. and they're like, "Oh, I want to go to California. I want to. Where should Where should I go?" I was like, "Not L.A. Don't come here. Go <laughs> to like Northern California. Go go see like oh, yeah. go see the mountains in like in the in the 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 Redlands, like the fucking yeah. forest. See some beautiful it's, stuff. Don't come San to Francisco L.A. Francisco might disgusting. be a bit of a problem, but um, there's some parts. Yeah, you drive through it. Yeah, drive around it. Yeah. go through the bridge. Go through the bridge. I like San Francisco too. It's it's this is. Pretty well, gross and dirty. Ellis and, and I went there in 2019. It's the last time I've been there. Prior to that, I had not been since like 87. So yeah. I don't have a lot of frame reference. You know who I was? I was talking to my dad actually because he still travels a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, good, and good he, for was, him. he was telling me that he uh, went to DC pretty recently. Oh, and I was like, Dad, God, how fucking it. cool is DC? He's like, DC is really DC. cool. Just, just, there's just got a nice vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, and I know yeah. they're, every, every town's fighting crime problem. You read the headlines. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I loved. I loved that DC trip in 2019, and the one last one I did, Ellis and I and a buddy of his uh, from high school, we we had just the greatest time. Yeah, yeah, such a good city. I I, I really want to go back. It's yeah. weird though; it does close down, unlike New York. Yeah, like at 10 o'clock, it's everyone's like, "All right, we got to go. We're, we're going legislate. to legislate. We got to legislate." There's no, uh, there's no fast food places open past. Yeah, midnight, no, yeah, and we have to get shit burgers. Oh god, that was still the best clutch burgers. I uh, see right now my my fantasy baseball. Uh, um, Owner, my co-owner, he's texting me something right now about it. About it's very, it. very important. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. about Well, that. while you're doing that, why don't yeah. you go ahead and li- hit that like button? I forgot to say that up top. That hit. really does. Uh, I know it's kind of like a meme, like share and subscribe, but it actually does help out the channel. Helps out the show. Yeah. Gets engagement going. So if you can do me a favor, whether you're watching live right now or if you are watching on the replay. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And, hey, if you ever want to listen to us on the go, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. The, the Anchor thing kind of changed. Now it's uh, powered, powered powered by, by Spotify. Spotify or something like that. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying. Subscribe there if you ever want to listen to us on the go. We're on video on Spotify. So help us out. And we do have a Patreon, too. Patreon.com slash wangers. Um, do it. Uh, do it. We, out right now, we, had, we, we did Scream 5. 
commentary. Um, there's a John Wick commentary. Uh, I was trying to get all three John Wicks. Uh, I got a little busy. I might uh, do those two this week. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. If not, maybe by this weekend for the new movie. So stay tuned for that. You're doing great. You're content creating. So am I. Trying. And there's also going to be uh, a little bonus video uh, for the patrons. A little sneak peek into Scare Tag, our most recent short oh, film. Oh, yeah. I'm, Some behind the scenes stuff. Ken's about two minutes I'm in. Two minutes and 52 seconds in the Scare Tag. Boom. So you just got right before the title. Did you even see the title? Sure. Okay. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. I don't want to spoil uh, anything. Uh, so you can, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be exclusive for all the patron people. And uh, stay tuned and on that. We might uh, have like a nice little exclusive premiere for our patrons and whatnot. So. Step and repeat. Maybe step virtual and repeat. step yeah, and virtual repeat. Step, that'll be easy. I mean, easy yeah, to throw up. I've had to create a couple of step and repeats back in my back day, in sir. Your day. I had to do all that work. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. Oh, my God. I picked up so many of those fucking things. Yeah, so many of those things. It's a crazy process. Yeah, great it, people that we work with to get those two. Solid, solid, lovely people. Uh, but yeah, support, support. Hey, look, I was, uh, the business side of things, podcasting is in a weird spot right now. Where blame whatever you want to lockdowns, corporate greed, whatever. Advertising money is down. A lot of advertisements are being pulled. Mm-hmm. So a lot of podcasts. I don't know. Say a rather popular Star Wars podcast that is the center of forcing is starting to struggle in ways they haven't mm-hmm. because a lot of the revenue they've relied upon is just not there anymore. Right. Um, mm-hmm. The companies are pulling out of stuff. So Patreon is um, is a spot or liking, just spreading the word. And is, that would be patreon.com slash... Slash Force Center. Um, we just Force Center. Uh, and there's that. I mind too. I'm going to... I just uh, reworked a lot of things on my YouTube page. Uh, a lot of things coming there, and uh, my Patreon page is going to uh, a merch tier exists, but I'm going to unveil the merch after Star Wars Celebration London in a couple weeks. Because oh yeah, that's I'm coming gonna, up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wear the shirt there, and you can get exclusive merch there, all that kind of stuff. So Ooh. it it it's just it is what it is. It's tough. I, I had a relatively radi- regular writing gig with a a a geek uh, branded uh, geek centric brand, mm-hmm. and I just lost it to an AI program, and it's just so like. I I have no problem if one day I have to go work at um, Dino's Pizza. I don't want to. I'd like to Get be able to pizza. pursue my art, but mm-hmm. I'll do it if I got to because I ain't looking down on any employment anywhere in the world. Hey but man, making it's those, getting tough out there. But making those pies is art too, by the way. I don't know if I could. Yeah, I'll yeah, do the no, make my own at home stuff, and it's never gonna. It's good. pretty scary because I saw. I think I saw there was some AI generated editing too um, happening now too, and it's yeah. like. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, um, and I'm and I'm of the mindset that you know, just the human touch is that's the human touch, you know. And I'd like to think it's still valuable. Hey, I mean, uh, the way that AI generated stuff is going is is pretty terrifying. It's yeah. there's a lot of stuff. It's like, whoa, the fucking yeah. program came up with that. It's not yeah. quite there. Um, I don't yeah. like it because it's it's a well, because of the robots. The robots, yeah. I respect the robots, by the yeah. way. In case you know. They do rise yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You have every right to because yeah. you've been mis like our little uh, shark, our little Roomba thing. Oh, I, I yeah. treat that thing with respect. Oh yeah, I talk to utmost mine. Utmost respect. Um, I talk to mine, but you know they probably know that robot probably I knows th- my th- social. Th- there's you know definitely I mean? a place for it and the technology. I totally get it. It's yeah. Just, I, I I was joking with a friend today. I feel like it was it was a you know it was a job that I, it, like it it helped. I was paying food. Bills and food, mm-hmm. and I feel like uh, uh, an auto worker in Detroit when a, a robot came in and suddenly you're off the line. I can yeah. only imagine what they felt like. Now, mm-hmm. uh, mine's not as dire. Mm-hmm. Don't compare it directly. I mean, I used but to, I just had that feeling yeah. of like, what? They're using a yeah. a robot program to do my writing now? Yeah, I mean, uh, some of my first jobs was in a warehouse, mm-hmm. like literally capping bottles and putting to, like on the line. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Exactly, except for nail polish. And mm. uh, now it's just like, I mean, there are people that are just like pressing the button, go, and yeah. the machines just keep going. And you you know? and, and then, look, again, talking to football and the shot clock, you know, it's, you find your place in the change, but it's a scary time. Scary time. Scary time. That's scary yeah, that time. Got, that got depressing. Can't fast. be as scary as. I want to go back talking about China and Russia meeting together. <laughs> it can't be scary. Yeah, every feel, if you feel bad about your own. Just, just look outside the world. Oh, see, see, the robot heard you. The robot heard you. Scary. Oh, Alec, you sent in a super chat. Oh, you know, I gotta uh, sign in. Do we? Oh, sign uh, in. Uh, not a super chat. A stream lab. Stream I lab. Yeah. Well, uh, stream. I'm on but stream elements. Let's fight. Is it different? I'm also on own 3D Pro. Uh, I'm on OnlyFans now. 
Are no, you? I imagine. Okay. I'd okay. be curious. Would you all sign up? What would you want to see? <laughs> On your OnlyFans? Uh, I'd want to see you going to Arby's. I, here's what I want you to do on your OnlyFans: go to the gym or go go for a run. Sexualize eating. Go 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 for a run, and then with your hair all all a tussle, your your face glistening with sweat, pull into the drive through order a, a roast beef and cheese or whatever you call it, and just slowly eat that thing. Send tips. Yeah, uh, not that yeah. I would know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Go get it. Go get the go get the bag. Um. Oh yeah. So yeah, Putin and and Chi. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, do you think I, I worry are? about it. I worry. I, I think uh, China wants to. They're they're strong, sure, but maybe not as strong as they want to be. And so, how do you prove that? Listen, by flexing a bit. Yeah. The only thing I'll say is that uh, there's a reason why our country puts in so much goddamn money in the military. Do I agree <laughs> with it? No, I don't. No. Yeah. But if if anybody wants to find out, yeah, like that's where we put a lot of our yeah, money a into. Lot of it. So yeah, a lot of it. And I did see, uh, like, I always laugh when I see North Korea trending because they're, like, trying yeah. so hard to, like, be yeah, in the, the spotlight. Yeah. There was the, yep. uh, like, 800,000 soldiers signed up to be yes, part yeah, of the yeah, army. Yeah, I saw that headline it's on like Yahoo signed News. up or held by gunpoint. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that photo of uh, <laughs> Kim Jong-un. Is he Un or ill? Uh, uh, Kim, Kim, uh, Kim Jong, I don't want to be Un. disrespectful. Un, yeah. Un, right? Il, Il, His Il, father uh, was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. I, yeah. Um, but uh, it was him along with. All the yeah, soldiers yeah, yeah, and yeah. the look on their faces is like we don't want to be here. Yeah, we yeah. don't want to. It's like uh, Russia's bolstering their front lines. Yeah, how are they doing that? Kyle Harlow's here says AI can't repli- replicate Ken's grumpiness. The scary thing is, I probably, it probably can. It probably does it better <laughs> it, too. Uh, yeah, it probably it'll is more like, successful. It'll do like mid two thousands Ken just a little <laughs> bit better. Yeah. Um, Oh, Jane says, good. please post the link to Ken's Jane Patreon says, and yours too. Would be much appreciated. If not, I can rewind Laugh a Lot. Oh, yeah, I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, uh, Emmanuel Fuentes. Manny says it's in the description. Oh, thank you. Patreon.com. You can slash add Ken's Ken Patreon in there too. I don't know if you can yeah. add that to the description, Manny, but if not, I will. I will definitely add that. Yeah, as well. yeah. I'm up and I, yeah, I'm up and running on YouTube doing. The, I've, moved, I've I've turned my back on Twitch. I got one stream left on there. I'll still have it active, but I am now going to be uh, doing my video game streams on YouTube and just uh, putting more content out there. Oh yeah. Uh, I know we hate that word content, but it Gotta is what it is. Gotta keep grinding. Got to keep running. Yeah, because yeah, I, I contemplate, I think about this and I'm just thinking out loud too because I always yeah. want to text coders like, should we really keep the podcast like on this channel? Is it worth it? Like, can we just keep it to, I never like talk to him about this stuff and not that I'm like contemplating it or anything. Are you using but, this show to talk to him? Yes. Okay. I could just text him, but you know. Nah, don't do uh, But it's like things I think about is like, is this still working? Because like the shorts do really well. The, the podcast well. episodes, are, they they vary. I don't know what works anymore. If long mm-hmm. con- long form, short form, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what entirely works because I want to get back to just uploading like you know short films and stuff yeah, on yeah, the yeah. channel and yeah. whatnot because that's it's, yeah that's it's a it's thing, a but. you know it's it's tough and and they uh, they switch you know the game a lot you got to do long form videos nope you got to do live videos oh you got to do shorts and yeah. and all these and that's I heard a, a, a well, it's boring talk but yeah I heard this one one big streamer who left Twitch and went to uh, YouTube is like I don't think Twitch will be around Aiden and, Ross no 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 okay. Uh, Senpai Gaming uh, was like, I don't think, oh, I know that. I don't think yeah. Twitch will be around because they're not adapting. They will become Snapchat. Where Snapchat was, look at us, we got stories, and then everyone was like, great, we're going to do stories too, and pictures, and this and that. Snapchat's like, we got stories, and yeah. people are like, uh, we don't need mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Um, Big yeah. Lou's Clubhouse asks, uh, Ken, are you going to be streaming Jedi Survivor? Uh, uh, at the yes, um, if if not on Force Center, it will be on my own YouTube channel. But there's a Strong possibility we stream that uh, on Force Center. There you go. Oh, on, our, on, our, on the Force Center YouTube channel. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I was trying to, because I've been um, playing video games. This new Resident Evil game is coming out this weekend. So I'm, I'm not be, ignoring you. Just That's fine. I want to make sure uh, I don't have to rush home in an emergency. Oh, okay. All right. And um, I don't. And uh, it's, this new game's coming out this weekend, and then I'm glad that the new Star Wars game, Jedi Survivor, was pushed back because it's giving me a break in between. Idea. Um, cause I also wanted to try to replay, uh, Fallen Order, um, before mm. this new one. Cause yeah. I played it when it came out. I thought it was a really good game. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, but I, I don't play think... it on easy, but oh yeah. I mean, Hey, yeah. I just no want to get through the story. You know? Just want to get, yeah, through, the just get you through the story, get through the you know, story. Um, and same thing with Jedi survivor. I want to, I want to, I, I'm excited to play that one. I'm a survivor. Yeah. No, um, they released the big game trailer today. So yeah, I'm fun. I, I look, I, 
people can make fun of me. I I love playing Fortnite and I stream Fortnite and it's mm-hmm. a lot of fun and I have a lot of laughs. And you're doing good at it. I won this morning. I had about Woo! 20 minutes before Force Center mm-hmm. and I played uh, Fortnite. You just played. You didn't stream. No, I just played by nice. myself. Yeah. And I had a cup of coffee, a breakfast sandwich, and I won. Fuck yeah. And I felt jazz. It's a good way to wake up. I can't morning. lose today. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we can't. I can't. End this without talking Star Wars with you. Let's now. talk some Star Can we talk some Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Are you done with Mandalorian? It's no. not doing as well as it used to. Oh, Are people fed great. up? Are people fed up with it yet? Uh, this they, is one area no. of the internet I haven't been keeping up with, and I'm yeah. happy for it because I'm just con- consuming the content. And remember, I don't either because I mute all the words, That's so I still you. don't see. But uh, but for Force Center, we we tap in. Um, it's just it's that same gamified way of talking about pop culture that's annoying to me mm. where people don't want to engage with what's actually on the show. They don't want to deal with facts. They just want to hear a headline. Mm. They just want to jump into things. Yeah. Um and it's dumb and it's reductive. Mm-hmm. And like Mando's been great. It's also expanding the hell out of the story. Um it's it- it's it's, it's but 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 the, the problem is uh, there's this there's this thing going on after this last episode. Very clearly, it's tying to the era, the the post Return of the Jedi era. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think that's going to race up and connect with the quote unquote sequel trilogy, and that's not necessarily true because that's not what the, necessarily what the show is communicating. Mm-hmm. It's not the themes and lessons of the show. There's definitely some dots. Maybe we'll get some strings out. But yeah. it's just weird to see people take it in the wrong direction because they assume things. And the other thing that's kind of fascinating to me, because I, I, I text you, is like, is there discourse? Do people hate this? Oh, there's like, always going to be discourse. I'm, I'm yeah, sure, because yeah. like, I, I watched that last episode, the third episode at the, the time one. of this recording, yeah. where they kind of steer off and they go back to Coruscant. and yeah, Pershing. They, and, they go to that doc. King, I literally yeah. had to, like, I, King, asked, yeah. I asked people in our Discord, I was like, is this one we've seen before? I can't quite remember. Mm. And oh, and the character? Yeah, yeah. And he has popped up. But I do think it's fascinating that, like if people are going to get upset that there are any tiny little mentions of like the sequel trilogy but now they're like so nostalgic for the prequel trilogy and even though mm-hmm. at that time it there was so much of the right, same right. sort of like oh what the hell this isn't star wars but right. so now it's like i don't know it's now because the sequels trilogy they think the se- the prequels is better or or you know just as good like i don't know like it's, mm, it's very it's, strange it's, to me. it depends on generations we're at force center yeah. we're big on generational um change and also making sure we respect your entry points but it's like the the incorrect view of the clone wars animated sh- series is that it quote made the prequels did better it did oh, not no. uh, it added context, context to it, behind it. that yeah. expanded the time the storylines the themes the characters and the motifs but 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 phantom menace was always in place from the beginning it just people didn't get it yeah um because of expectations my my goal right now as a star wars fan is to Make sure that the next generation does not have to love Star Wars in the way I did in 1983. Yeah, yeah. There's so many people in our space who are like, it must feel like it felt for me in 1983 or else it's wrong and you're wrong, and that's the problem I have yeah. with it. I like, I like what you said, though, like adding the context behind it because mm-hmm. uh, I would like f- I would often hear us like, you know, if it, in order to make it better, oh, you have to read this or you have to watch this. And yeah. it's like... Like no, I like General Grievous a little bit more just because there was a I got to see more of him in the Clone Wars. But yeah, yeah. still like his character in Revenge of the Fall- Revenge of the Sith is <laughs> like fallen. that's the Transformers. Transformers. Yeah, um, I kind of dig that. So <laughs> don't get me started on Transformers because there's some shit in there that I'm like, ah, oh, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. But yeah. um, like he's still kind of like flat, like nothing to him in in, in yeah. Revenge of the Sith. But um, like if yeah, if I watch like the Clone Wars stuff and see him, it's like oh, there's some there's more to him. Yeah, but it all but it all feeds back to Avengers Sith. Remember, he is a he's a thematic lesson for Darth Vader. He is someone who sacrificed everything to be more powerful and becomes a broken hacking mm-hmm. cyborg with his you know guts in a sack. Mm-hmm. And 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 it's and it's what Vader's going through. And in the Clone Wars animated series from two thousand eight on, that's what Grievous Just is. Him Grievous out. is as powerful as he wants to be. Mm-hmm. He always runs away. And it's just little thematic things like that. But yeah, but going back to like with, with the, the Andor versus Mando conversation mm-hmm. is tiring and exhaustive. But also, I don't think you got to follow the themes. The big villain for Mandalorian is Moff Gideon. And Moff Gideon, it's about his relationship to Mandalore, the Mandalorian people and their mm-hmm. culture. It's about him versus them. It's not about, well, this is all to explain something in a movie that didn't you felt wasn't explained enough or, mm-hmm. or want more of. And it's not that it's not going to touch into that. But what are the themes of the dark side? 
Moff Gideon's doing this for him is my thought mm-hmm. and, and Joseph's thought. Um, the pro- Palpatine and the dark side are always like, great, you thought that was for you. Yoink, I'm going to take it. Look at Count mm-hmm. Dooku in Revenge of the Sith. He has two blades at his neck. He knows the lay of the land. Suddenly he's about to get his neck chopped off and he See looks look, up. Look he looks at Palpatine face. like, yeah. this is what I got? Yeah, he's like, hey, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, so yeah. I think anyone who thinks this is setting up the First Order, this is setting up Palpatine, I don't think that's the, that's not what the themes of the show mm-hmm. are telling you. The themes of the show are it's a pursuit of what it is to be a Mandalorian for many different people and the relationship to that theme and that yeah. quest. Moff Gideon is a villain for that story. Yeah, and that's and that's where he's I, still around. He didn't die, right? He was, no, no, he'll be. You can, you gonna, you know, you gonna cast Carlo, Giancarlo and, you know, and not have him in it a lot more. Yeah, and, and I guess, it, yeah. So you got me started. I've F seen you. some. Hold on, I've seen some. Uh, F you. Okay. No, no. Go I've for seen it. some stuff about Bo Katan, Katie Sackhoff's character, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because uh, I I vaguely remember her from the. I vaguely remember mm-hmm. everything from the Clone Wars because I watched it, but I didn't like. You know, watch it's ex- it over. I, Doug, I just completed a rewatch with Joseph. Okay. I sometimes can't remember. People are like, what are your favorite episodes? I'm yeah. like, I can't remember. Yeah. I mean, I think it's cool as fuck that Katie got to voice yeah, her yeah, character yeah, 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 and yeah. then play her in live action. I think that's yeah, yeah. super cool. But I don't remember a whole lot, like, the stuff that happened with her. And I, and I it, she's, like, not a good I person, right? She, I, would, or, or I, would, I would disagree I don't with know. that. Okay. Because I've seen she some people wasn't, talk about She wasn't. She was. And then at one point decided to go against what we later learned was her own sister by joining a cult at the Death Watch, the okay. same group that may we believe the children of the Watch might have been involved with or influenced the same group that saved Din. And she, Manny is the one that's been yelling about it. About oh, both. yeah. And so she wasn't bad. Uh, at one point she switched. She Her mistakes, her pursuit for power, but also to hold on to culture. Remember, her sister was a pacifist, which doesn't mean you don't defend yourself when, when it comes up to it or you don't deal with a problem that emerges. Mm. Her sister was a pacifist, tried to change the toxic culture of, of war, power, and vengeance, and strength, this, mm. uh, that Mandalorian weapons are a religion. Remember, Den says that. Her mm-hmm. sister... Uh, was her sister the one that Obi-Wan was Obi-Wan, trying to get with? Yeah, so her, ah. and so Bo-Katan joins Death Watch to fight that, to hold on to traditional values, the good old days, there you go. and what, comedy's dead now? That's what the Death Watch is about. <laughs> oh, the Death Watch is like, in, oh, none of this anti-woke yeah, bullshit. Well, none of this anti-woke, you want us to put down our weapons Hell thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what happens? Darth Maul uses that, now Maul uses that, and kills oh, her sister right. in an yeah. effort to break and he Kenobi. has the Darth, he has the Darth, the, the he dark, has the dark saber, saber. For, for a while. And so that's kind of the end of it. So she comes back she comes back from that mm. and so she's realized there's her heirs of her ways time we see in rebels she gets the dark saber that we now know in a way that maybe she wasn't was tradition rebels? she's in rebels she's Fuck, in, I don't yeah it's fi- great it's great i stuff. finished all of rebels but i don't yeah, remember that it's great and um and the guy who voiced the guy who was the leader of the death watch was john favreau right as as pre Vizsla, yes. Pre Vizsla, and then he I was know my shit. the up? voice of Paz Vizsla up until this season in Mando. They changed it. The, he's not oh, doing okay. it anymore. John was like, "I got to go make Cubanos. Someone else do the voice." Oh, bring back the fucking Chef Show. God, Chef it's been a minute. Chef Show was oh, great, man. Love that show. Anyways, all that to yeah. say, you can have fun speculating. I, I don't want anyone to think that you can't wonder, or maybe this does lead. Is that with the was those yeah. Snokes in the jar and that? Oh, that stuff's fun, but that's not what this stuff is about. Mm, they that's just want to focus on those little details. That's not what this is about. Yeah. And even the people who I think enjoy it, they enjoy it. Like, I, I got fed up with the Shmodo and stuff at the end because it's like, no one no one what a blaster is does not mean you understand Star Wars. It's fun. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. But that's not where the end of the journey is. That's right. not what this is about. That's not what art is about. Yeah. And I just get upset when that's the discourse. Mm. It's all based on the surface. Dig deeper. Engage with art. This yeah. is art. And the other problem I have is, is pop culture is our culture. Mm. So don't look down on it. And there's so many people who are of, of very intelligent people, who are progressive politically, who, who understand the lay of the land. Who don't wear socks? But don't wear socks. But when they co- when it comes to not just Star Wars, but any of this pop culture stuff, they look down on it in the way that we, looked, we were looked down upon in the 80s, where it's just silly stuff. It doesn't mean anything. Mm. And you've got to get on with your life and grow up. Meanwhile, you got X Men uh, is 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 a tale of of civil rights, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and all that's in the art. And people missed it. Luke Skywalker is a tale of of breaking the cycle of violence. Uh, mm-hmm. You do not go and be a hero, a, a great warrior. You go and win with empathy and compassion. People mm-hmm. miss that. Oh, so so our whole lives we've over we've looked down on this art and mm-hmm. been told to grow up from it. But it is our art. It is our culture. And I think too many people talk about it on these dumb fucking YouTube channels. (laughs) 
It's very what, easy what do you think is going to happen next week? It's what do you easy. think this week meant? Thematically meant. What yeah. did it mean? I always say Star Wars did not, does not want you to ask how or what. It wants mm. you to ask why. Yeah. Why? Because I guarantee they watched this past episode and be like, oh, it was just all filler. That's filler. Because filler is like the new, like, I hate using that word. Is that a knife right there? Because I'll throw it at it's someone a bo- who it's uses a, filler. <laughs> it's a bottle opener. It's, 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 it's that a, was like every yeah. week for The Last of Us. It's like, oh, it was just more Same filler. Thing. More filler. It's like, no! This zombie they're show. A, they're telling a fucking story. Yeah, this zombie show does not have no zombies, at says another either. failed screenwriter. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, they're never about zombies. George, no. What's George, uh, George, what's his name? Did all the, the Romero. Romero. Oh, Romero. That's not yeah. about zombies. Oh, my God, yeah. It's not until, about, yeah. until somebody told him, like, hey, your political stuff is good. And then he was like, oh, okay, Elise I'll do that. Elise is literally watching Just, Chef Show right say, now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, hey, there's always, like, subtext behind all of this stuff. And yeah. maybe, maybe some subtle, more subtly than others, but it's it's always been there. It's just like... When when people start talking about it, then they get upset. I get it, and 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 we are part of it. And I like I I'm fed up with the space that I was in and helped establish in some ways. I'm one of thousands that helped establish oh, it. That's why I was glad. I was but never everything on any became of those a shows. debate. Everything became who's your favorite Batman? Not what does Batman mean? And it's totally fine. And that's what gets the clicks, and that's fun. Mm-hmm. But th- there's an episode of Bad Batch. Bad Batch, by the way, is the best Star Wars show out right now. Season two of Bad Batch that's is the amazing. Clone. It's the animated one okay, right yes, now. Yes, yes. And it's got some just amazing stuff that 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 hits these levels of political stuff. There's mm-hmm. actually in the third episode a character who who's a clone fighting for the Empire, who <laughs> says to another character. We're not here to talk politics. And she's like, of course you're not here to talk politics. Because if you were here to talk politics, you'd realize you're in the wrong. Mm, ooh, but I you like don't that. want to engage with it. Mm-hmm. So you just go, uh, no politics here. We're just talking about Batman. And that's where I get frustrated, mm-hmm. clearly. God damn it, I want another Pacifico. But I got to go soon. Okay, that's okay. But does the blue guy show up? Thrawn? Yeah. The Jordan know. Peterson of Star Wars? <laughs> I don't like Thrawn. <laughs> Thrawn's not my favorite. Okay. Um, but no, Thrawn, Thrawn's a very interesting character. I just uh, he's held up to this like I think is he's it, a it? bad person. I think he is. Oh, okay. sci- He's cast his lots with evil for what he thinks is the benefit of his people, and 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 that's great. But how do you justify essentially taking part of at times genocide, at times the yeah, mass destruction of humans for your? It's it's a weird philosophy. But he's just fucking cool, bro. Right. He is cool. I'll He's tell you cool. what, he is cool. Okay. I used to quote Thrawn from the Air of the Empire stuff. Oh, you nerd. People be like, well, what's one of your favorite Star Wars quotes? And I'd be like, if you have a problem, eliminate the problem. Grand Admiral Thrawn. They're like, who? I'm talking the three movies. <laughs> you nerd? <laughs> no, man, what's your Yoda quote? Uh, Sh- Laser- Shut Laser up Bolt, your lunch money. Laserbolt says, any plans for another book, Ken, or Ooh. is the idea unbearable? The idea is not unbearable. I don't necessarily have the time to do it. Or the space for three nervous breakdowns I had during the writing of Why We Love Star Wars. Not easy. The other thing is, the other thing is, um, yeah, uh, it makes no money. (laughs) I'm with a publisher. It's not a self-published book. There's always like a number one bestseller, the Oprah's list. Uh, You can qualify for that. Authors ain't making... You'll see top flight Star Wars authors who are like, oh my God, I'm so glad you love my book. I was at my day job and Mm -hmm. I got your email. Like... That dude, there was the uh, the M Night Shyamalan movie, Knock mm-hmm. in the Cabin. Yeah, that the author of that book. Yeah, he's written like three or four horror novels, very very successful. He's a teacher. Yes, like yeah. he's a he's an actual I, teacher. I don't, yeah, I, and this is why I say if if you love what we do, and I love that you love what we do, find ways to support us, and even watching, liking, sharing is important. All that stuff is important, not just for the algorithm, but like I'll I'll tell you right now, I'm I'm waiting on my next uh, check for Why We Love Star Wars, yeah, two hundred dollars. Hmm. To it, but I can't uh, yeah. go to Ralph's and fill up my cart for two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's true. So there's no money in it, and that's sad. Mm-hmm. But it's just the lay of the land. Yeah, so. you're proud of it. I, I'm you absolutely fucking proud did of it, it, man. I'm absolutely proud of it. You fucking I, I'm did it. Pissed at some of the typos my editors left in there, but oh, hey, um, you know, even some of the greats have yeah. typos in there. Um, yeah. Just taking a look, make sure we didn't yeah. miss any super chats. Uh, there's one from Alec M S Young. So thank you so much. Is Alec. Arby's open? Okay. If you gotta you gotta make a drive. Uh, hey Ken, hey Christian, how's Wanger's politics going? I assume this is backdoor pilot for actual Wanger's Plus programming to commence. Yeah, <laughs> yes, no. Uh, Alec, you're gonna be very happy once you eventually watch this because Alec really likes when we talk politics. So, oh great, maybe we should have our own politics show. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, I'll do like an in, uh, uh, an ounce of research and then be like, oh, that's interesting. That's Ken. interesting. Yeah, but Trump's hair looks stupid, right? Stupid, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love look. I'd love to do it more, but my thing is, I'm not a 
excuse me, I'm not an expert. Like no, I try no. to watch a lot of things. I try to read a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But for me, politics is how we as a society come together to take care of the least of us. Mm-hmm. And that's all emotional for me. So I try to follow everything to what's it really trying to do and does it end in empathy? I just look at and the headlines. And there's not much more I can say. Of, you know, I can't go into, well, in this statute, you know, but, you know, no. yeah. Well, hey, there you have We did it. talk about pizza chains. I'm glad we did that. We did, yeah. We didn't do an actual... Oh, some pictures of uh, scare tag on your second screen. Oh, yeah. I was sending some stuff for, for Cody. That's great. Um, sorry. Just love that. Just I love see. that. I love that. Being organized. I got to do the part where we... Uh, I want you to help me out here, Ken. He's okay. Like, do we have time for this? Yeah. You yeah. have to get out of here? No, I mean, we'll do this, and then I'm going to go to Arby's. And then we're going to bounce the hell out of here. I'll <sighs> tell you where it's at. <sighs> Uh, so I want you to, this is going to be a little tricky, okay. but we're going to do it, God damn it. Because every single week we give shout outs to our patrons, $15 mm-hmm. and up. And it's mm-hmm. usually followed by a little sound bite. It's going to be hard to do these sound bites on here. So Ken, just rattle off these names for okay. me. And you can, here, I'll. What am I doing? I just oh, want oh you, you want me to scroll? Yeah, you can use that to scroll. You want me to scroll. There you go. Okay. okay. Um, and I'll just play sound bites as we go. Oh, wait, this is not connected. Oh, God. See if you got I know it. how to work computers. You what does this machine do? Okay. Oh, maybe that will work. No, the problem is I can't get up. Oh, okay. I, I can't get it up. Giggity, click that out. Okay, I got it. All right, ready? Uh, let's see. I think, da, 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 I, da, da, I think da, da, I'm da, da, attached. Da. Oh. Unmute it. All right, and go for it. Aaron Woodley. Just keep just rattle them off. Alec Rambler Young. Keep going. Keep Alexis going. Lopez. Arcadio oh. Castellanos. Yeah. Billy Storley. Bobby Mitchell. Brandon Lindsay. Oh, no. Brian Arsenault. Brian D. Brian Garcia. Chris Jones. Oh, Cindy Perez. Claire oh. Stephan. Connor Kennedy. Elena Marie. 10 FC 1138. Fuck. A reference to George Lucas, Harley Payne, James Lavario, Jason Hart. Don't fucking listen to me. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. John Noto, Carl Soterbach, Cat. Fucking Felix, get out of here. Burger, Kyle Johnson, Maris, love to use, man. Thornton, Michael Bittner, Nick Reeves, Nick Wade, Roman. Funny is good. Funny is good. Coke, Real Snacks Attacks, Ruben E25, Song Lay, Senior <laughs> Film, Sergio Castaneda, Hey, Stephanie Merritt, Terry Stockwell, TJ Jones, Tyler Eklund, and your host, Wiley Todd. Ooh, that was lovely. I would try to get in as many, but the uh, Dropbox is very, very Very slow on there. So there we go, everybody. There we go. And once again, all the uh, folks that were in our $10 tier, uh, Uh because we did recently change Mm -hmm. uh, our Patreon tiers, uh, they will be in the $15 tier for uh, this whole month, and then starting next month. Yeah. You won't be hearing your names unless you changed your uh, uh, tier uh, tier to fifteen. So yeah, okay, that's about it for us, folks. My tears. Uh, another good time. Yeah. Uh, Ken. Yeah. Anything yeah. else that you want to plug before we get the flip out of here? And no, you go- man. Just yeah, support me. KenNapsack.com. We'll link to all the things I do. My ASMR channel, my radio channel, my YouTube channel. Force Center. We got a lot of cool things going. We just launched an Indiana Jones. And the Perilous Podcast, Patreon-only series, that will go public after Dial of Destiny. But if you want to join us for the ride, it's on uh, Patreon, any tier, at uh, patreon.com slash center. So there you go. There it is, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Wang Show. Make sure you go support Ken and all the things that he's doing. A lot of really great stuff that he's got going on. Um, and, yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, if you're at WonderCon this weekend, I'm actually going to be there for work. Um, so come on and say that's, hi. That's still a thing. It's still a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Um, so I'll be out there having some fun. Um, and if not, Patreon, subscribe, do all the things. And, uh, yeah, we will see you next week with Eric Striffler. All right. Take us away. Bye. If you want to see your name here yeah. on my oh. left... Actually, my right, but it's over. Whatever. Join the Patreon. Come a patron. Nice little shout out right there. Not too heavy of politics, but even if we did, not as heavy. The last episode you were on, <laughs> we, we yeah. went, we went fucking. I was deep. on fire. Woo! But we 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 talked some other. We talked some Star Wars politics. Yeah, you got me grumpy. Got I like you it. going, man. I like it. 
Yeah, like, Jane like, Smith. Love both of you. Thank you for the years. Jane so much appreciated. Says, now I know where to find you. Well, thank you, Jane. Appreciate you. You're the best. And if you also, uh, I, I don't know why I just had a stroke right there. If you want to see your comments <laughs> feature, just leave a comment down below on this here episode, and you might get featured on next week's episode. There you have it. Two hours and nine minutes of pure fun. Next week will be like four because Eric will be on the show. Man. Alert the neighbors. It's going to get loud. Make sure you all click that video. Click that video. Do the things. Subscribe. Patreon. See you later.